Oh boy, I gotta fix all these controls again. Woo! I probably should have did that before. I'm gonna fix all the settings. Uh, fix this resolution before I, I, I properly put it on the stream. Hyperdimension Neptunia, Rebirth 3. in the world? Where is it? Wow, I had this- I had the same trouble last time! No, it's right there, what? It, but I don't see nothing. What's going on here? it not right now not right now steam Things so confusing sometimes. Oh, so confusing. So much, so much work. Right, let me see here. Ah. Uh...
Okay, all right. Hyperdimension Neptunia Rebirth 3. All right, so I need to fix this real quick. Uh... Wait, 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 hold on, what? <laughs> I need my mouse. I need my- I need- I need- I need my mouse. Wait, this mapping, this mapping is weird, huh? No, 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 no. Is that how I had it before? I feel like that's how I had it before. That's a lot of DLCs. As a quest that increases shares by a large amount. What the? All right, well, let's get started. Uh, healing items. Status effect healing items. Oh shit. Ugh. Oh, character pack one. Events will be available in Planetoon's Chirper. You'll be able to use the following characters. Broccoli, Falco, Marvelous, CyberConnect, Tekken, Cave, 5PB, Magus, and Red. Okay. DLC additional content one. Okay. The following content will be added. Entry exam to the adult nation. Ooh, sounds lewd. PC continent. Oh, you will need to clear. You will need to clear the true ending to access. It will not occur if you have already viewed this DLC event. Max level 301. No, 399. There we go. All right. Trial period. Uh, hello continent. You will need to clear the true ending to access this event. Max level 699. Pursue treasure. The event, an event will become available in GC 2012. True, true. What? 
I have to get the true Andy for everything to see these events? <laughs> Uh, 999 max level, okay. The DLC, Dengekiko Collaboration Processor Set. Okay. The DLC, Neptune Swimsuit Set. Alright, finally! Finally get a swimsuit set. <laughs> I've been waiting forever to get a swimsuit set. The DLC, Isti's Emergency Aid Plan Pack. Mm. Super EXP off again! Oh my god. Stella's Insurance. Blast Exploring. What is Blast Exploring? The DLC Dengeki Strategy Guide Plutia Swimsuit Set. Oh, more more swimsuits. Nice. Character Pack 2. The, uh, the events will become available in each city. Uh, uh, the characters will now become available. IF, Kampa, Estuar, Keijin Guji, Mine Nishizawa, Chika Hakuzaki. Oh, huh, okay. Uh, Scout Pack. You can now use the following scout to still this dungeon. Oh. I have no idea what that is, but okay. Game industry. A land over which CPUs rule and game mascots rally under them, away from the realm of humans. Game industry is made up of four nations, each ruled over by one of the CPUs. CPU Whiteheart rules Louis. CPU Blackheart rules Lastation. CPU Greenheart rules Leanbox. And CPU Purpleheart rules Planetoon. Each nation battles over dominion of the land, with the CPUs keeping one another in top form creating a balance. Memories of the battle against the deity of sin and her schemes remain fresh in game industry's mind. The four nations banded together and managed to thwart her ambitions. Some time had passed. And game industry had once again returned to a peaceful way of life. That peace did not last long. The curtains rise on the four CPUs, who are about to trigger a new war. What is it, the Master Race War? you have your frickin' way. I hope you can entertain me a little bit at least. You should feel honored to be able to face me. All right, I'll play with you for a minute. Come and get it. I'm gonna go all out! Ta Wide open. Eat this! <laughs> I'll slice you in half! <laughs> You've met your match today! Huh? Take this! Huh? It's over! You're mine! I'll finish this! I won't lose! <laughs> This is where you shall perish! Disappear! It is high time you receive your comeuppance, Purple Heart. No, Neptune. How careless of me to think the three of you would join forces. Oh, come on! It only makes sense at this point to lower the head count one at a time like this. It'd be a pain if you end up being the last one standing. So we're gonna beat you down first! If only Nepgear were here, I shouldn't have abandoned her. A bit late for regrets now. Get ready to die! 
Please rest assured, Neptune. We won't torture you. Expect a swift and clean death. Leave the finishing blow for me. I'll never lose. Even against the three of you, I will be victorious. What you in the world is going on? My hands. Holy shit, 96,000? Oh shit, I gotta fix my controls. Oh god, I gotta invert the camera too. Ah yes, verts. Don't get in our way. Not yet. That won't work. Finally, this is the true strength of Oh god! CPU! I'll end this. I will not let you have it's it your my way. Turn. Oh god, the camera feels so weird right now. Don't get in our way. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. I'm ready. I will not be ready have it anytime. Cross combo. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. I'll end this. Nothing can survive against my oh, God. dreadnought black strength. Yo, this is bad. That's a solid probably 40,000. 36,000 Are you ready? I will have you perish. Oh god. It's what it's back to my X drives. Come on. I'm the main character. Neptune, your voice. No. This cannot be. Is this where I finally die? Can't be. <sighs> no! I lost you guys! <laughs> One down, two to go. Victory is all but mine. Get real. With Neptune out of the game, none of you stand a chance against me. Come on. It sucks when you all gang up on me just because I'm awesome. You're all cheater belly eaters. What a rude accusation to make. We all inadvertently have the same goal in mind. Times like this should give you a glimpse into who you are as a person and how you act in your daily life. Aw, I really wanted to play too. I'm as sorry as a cat, Nep Jr. It's a four-player game, so... You received your comeuppance for barging in when it was your sister's turn. Just a second. I'll win this round real quick. Okay, one more game. If I let you all win every time, it'll make Planet Tune CPU look like a loser. Round two, fight! Huh? The battle is not initiating. What is this buggy scream? Only Purple Heart is showing up. None of ours are even loading. Neptune, did you break the game? I did nothing of the sort. I selected my titular character and pushed the start button like always. <laughs> then it's a freeze bug, no? I have this game myself, but I've never had this happen to me. And the place it loaded your character into. It looks like a dungeon, doesn't it? Now that you mention it, it does. Why would there be data for a dungeon in a fighting game? Perhaps the developers reused an old engine and the assets were left in. Or an update file was installed? Neptune, can you control your character at all? I've been mashing all the buttons the whole time you've been talking, but uh, she's stuck. I 
see. As a gamer, I would love to explore this restricted area. But at this rate... Oh, if that's all it is, then I have the perfect gizmo to help. Hmm? Ta-da! My special head-mounted super full-dive immersive controller. What? I call it the Nebulous Grift. Temp. <laughs> a controller you wear in your head? It looks like any other VR headset. What's different about this one? Could this be the device that we have all dreamed of? Does it allow you to dive into a game by wearing it? Yes. A certain game industry journalist recommended a young adult novel about online game worlds to me. I had to Oh try. my god! <laughs> since the controller doesn't have its own software, I made a universal dongle to let it work with any device. Um, long story short, we can use it to intervene in a game whether it's bugged or frozen or anything really. Neptune, since when has your sister been this much of a machine-loving and tinkerer character? Always. <laughs> Junior's machine fetish was innocent enough that it didn't get in the way of her cuteness. How'd it end up this way? Wait, is it because of the new route they added into Rebirth 2 where she and Uni worked on a machine together? Wait, what? <laughs> is this entire subplot based on that one route where her tinkering really took off? Don't ask me. And leave my sister out of this. Nepgear, may I please use that device to dive into this game? Um, well, I just finished development on it this morning. It's untested, so I don't think anyone can use it. I see. In that case... <gasps> Yank! Whoa! Wow! Lights out! What's happening? What the goodness, Bird? I just said it hadn't been tested yet. What are you doing? As Purple Heart is shown on screen, I believe Neptune standing as the protagonist will keep her safe. <laughs> the logic of a gamer. Don't blame me if something happens. Let me see. Is this the headset start button? And push. Hey, hey, what sort of situational comedy situation have you situated me in, Vert? But, uh, this could be a cool thing to experience. <laughs> so this is what it's like to be inside a game, huh? Dive success! Oh, thank goodness. Still, what a ridiculous scenario. She looks like her HDD form, but her personality and voice is Neptune. You're right! Wow! Is this my body after transforming? <laughs> I never noticed. Yippee! Skippy! This is totally a new experience for me! Whee! This is too weird. Neptune, can you just act like your HDD self for me? <laughs> I don't know if I can or not, but I'll give it a try, try, passerby. How does this sound? I figured there was nothing to lose by asking, but I never thought you'd manage to pull it off. Okay, this feels more natural. Neptune, can you move around? As you can see, my movement is not restricted in the slightest. Neptunior, I am impressed. This feels real. Oh, golly! My big sister praised me! <laughs> Yay! However, remaining in this form and using this personality is quite tiresome. Snappy snap, it's way more comfy to laze about in this bod. <laughs> what? You changed back somehow! Of course she did. This fighting game has an HDD transformation system as one of its mechanics. Anything is possible in games. Well, now that I'm back to my usual carefree self, let's start this investigation free of cares. Teach me, Isti. Okay, same old stuff, same old, same old. Wait, 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 wait. Sometimes you spot shadows on the floor. What do you jump on them? Okay, alright. That's new. Uh, yeah, that's, 
it's all the same. Oh, right, the camera. Camera, camera. Camera, camera, camera. Uh... Yodele, or whatever. Okay, yeah. Let me see how it feels the other way. Maybe I, maybe I feel like switching it up. Okay, all right. Let's see, equipment. Goddess Bangle. Wow, those are... This is high tier equipment, what? <laughs> oh, jeez. Level 51, the world happened. You know what? I ain't even mad. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, oh man. Oh, jeez. It's not. It's not horizontal. It's vertical now. Okay. All right. Uh. Can't afford it. Uh, can I? Wait, 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 wait a second. I get a fifth skill slot, but I don't get X skills? Well, I guess fair enough. I don't, I don't even see an X drive. Oh. Ooh, that's neat. Oh, man, the, uh, the whatchamacallit is gone. Violence at long last. What a what a trophy. Hey! Hey! Here you go! Here it's all over. A complete and utter victory. You only saw my after image. Do I have? Oh, everything. Honestly, didn't see that coming. Oh. 
ho, ho, ho. Here you go. Here, easy peasy. I'll nip your face. Here you go. Hey, victory. This place. It's a bugged area, isn't it? Either that or it's a different game's dungeon assets mixed in. Do you think? Something's buggering me, though. Be careful, Neptune! Something's coming your way! My way? But there can't be anything here other than my fine self. <laughs> in the Neptunia franchise. An irregular existence. Either it's a bug or some kind of virus in the game's code. A virus? I suppose it's possible. Maybe the area Neptune's exploring was made by that same virus then. It is a tad hasty to jump to that conclusion. But if the enemy is intent on fighting, so shall it be. <laughs> Hang on! We don't even know what this thing is! Can I even beat it? Karen again, it'll be fine. Why are you acting so casual and vague now of all times? If I lose, I might seriously die. Die in the game, die in real life. That kind of horror premise exists. Oh, oh, oh. Maybe if you fight it, I can extract some really neat old combat data from the game's code. Perfect. Are you gabbing gals even listening? Are you lippy ladies ignoring me? <laughs> Can't you flippin' females hear me? Okie dokie. I've connected my end gear to the headset. I should be able to extract the enemy's data now. You heard the plan, Neptune. Get fighting. Ah, fine. I'm gonna use my attack spamming suicide strategy. <laughs> of the computer kind and not an illness, yes? Right. I don't know why it exists, but I'm positive it's behind the reason why our game got messed up. The virus seems to have built this dungeon area via a network connection. I read something similar to this in a book years ago. Crazy cakes. You're telling me that it's the virus's fault that my sweet battling CPU's game got all buggy? No, forgiveness. Neptune seems legitimately angry for once. Well, duh. I scrimped and saved my measly allowance for many moons to buy the game and console, so this sucks. <laughs> Your allowance? If Neptune has uncontrolled access to money, 
She buys every game she sees. So Isti put her on an allowance. Planetune CPUs are so weird. Okay, it's settled. I'm gonna do the quarantine thing and delete them all. Any more baddies around, Neptunior? I'm scanning the data, and I'm seeing a lot in the vicinity. But, I mean a lot. This might be tough, even for you. Numbers aren't important to me. A CPU won't bend or break against some dinky dingus of a virus. If she had this drive all the time, Istoir probably wouldn't get so many stomach ulcers from the stress. Wait, what? She gets stomach ulcers? Wait, my end gear is reacting. What is it this time? One super strong reaction came through the far end of the dungeon area. Maybe it's the root of the virus. Nicely analyzed, my tech savvy tinkerer of a sister. I'm gonna vent all my rage onto them for breaking my game. Boing! Kanga nip! Kanga nip! Boing! Ooh, looks neat. <laughs> ah, a CPU! You're the mean bean machine that screwed up my beloved game. Forgiveness is all sold out today. Why is a CPU in this place? We're inside of the game right now! Huh? When you leave something to a girl like me, who makes the impossible possible, doing this was a cinch. Pretty sure Nepgear was the one who made the impossible possible? What a blunder on my part! I think I allowed a CPU to get inside of a game like this. Ah! Oh, even if my foe is a CPU, you are alone. Servants, gather! Kill her by overwhelming her. <laughs> Just as expected from a virus. Attacking me with numbers, huh? Goodness, what should we do? Neptune, will you be okay? No matter how many there are, they're junk compared to a CPU. I'm gonna reformat their hard drives. Come at me. How foolish facing me. Do they really think they can stop me with this? Yeah. I then disappear. That doesn't hurt. Yeah. So weak. 
An obvious result. Weak. Such bit players have no hope of defeating me, no matter their numbers. Then I'll just summon even more. Go, go, servant monsters! I'll be your opponent for a little while. Boy, that's... I have a number of them. There! Say! Next! So weak. Ouch! I can't... I've got you! Next! Ouch! That doesn't hurt! Say! Disappear! Eat this! Eat this! And all the... Your servants are no more. All that remains is you. Prepare yourself. <laughs> this is why it's a waste of time to program fodder enemies. But if it's come to this, then I'll spawn my trump card. I sacrifice my super rare ticket to summon my pre-order exclusive DLC item. What? What are you trying to do? Heed my call, super rare monster. You summoned another new monster? I'm incredibly lucky to have drawn a Bahamut type. It's the strongest of all super rare summons. Go and kill that nasty CPU. Can you handle me? I'll finish this in one go. It's time to get serious. Is that all? I'm getting fired up. Ready anytime. Say. Yeah. I've got you. Eat this. Yeah. Is that all? I've got you. Eat this. Say. There. I'll finish this in one go. Don't get in our way. <laughs> Ready anytime. Critical edge. I fight! How can this be? My super rare stuff! How could you beat it so easily? You are all that remains, Virus. Take this! <laughs> Hang on! Yeah. Phew, it's all over. I'm not picking up any more viruses. Your objective has been met, Neptune! And I shall dive out of this game. So tired. But hey, now there aren't any more pesky viruses in my game. Come on, let the playing recommence. Hmm. Um, actually, Neptune, What's up, my darling sister? Um, it's really hard for me to tell you this, but... The game is no longer playable. Ah! What a shame, but it's the truth. Nepgear looked into it, but most of the character data has been erased. What? That's so not cool! I beat up the virus, right? Man, the game got bricked. You may have, That's the but worst. that will not fix that which has been destroyed. Ugh, this is beyond the beyond of lameness. Come on, cheer up! At least it was only the game that broke. Yeah, I should count my blessings that my save data and console are safe and sound. So 
let's change into our brighter moods and keep on playing. How about a racing game next? I just happened to bring a fun little big one. Oh? I'd recommend a party game. That plumber just released a new edition of his party game series. <laughs> oh, man. Perhaps we could tackle an online game together. Oh, I'll go and bring some more snacks and a pot of yummy tea. Pardon me, everyone. Nice timing, Isti. We're out of those dry, crackery things. Can you go get more? I'd rather have something sweet. Why don't we eat the special station cookies I brought? Not a bad idea. But if cookies are on the menu, I would prefer a pot of black tea over green. Whoops! I'll go make a new pot then. Oh. Hey, quit loafing, Isti. Our mouths demand sugary treats. Oh, wait, it's rematch time. Hey, don't start the match without letting us know. I'm taking a break. I pity your lack of stamina. I am prepared for another 10 hours of gaming at least. Damn, Bert. <sighs> All of you, the time has come to knock it off. Whoa, why the bad attitude, Isti? Heavens, my heart nearly left right out of my chest. Silent! I must raise my voice. Day after day, you four meet up only to play games. You are CPUs. How is it proper for the CPUs meant to rule the world to play and lollygag their lives away? Huh? Isti, are you angry? Like, for real seeds? Now, now, Eastwar! Please calm down! I will do no such thing! Nepgear, you are party to this as well! You jump at the chance to offer snacks and tea. You spoil them so much that they do not work! Oh! It is painfully clear that Neptune is a lost cause. But you are smart and serious. So why? Well, well, I mean, um, during the last big battle, everyone had it rough, so I thought I'd be really nice. Darn tootin. <laughs> I mean, even CPUs need to take staycation for a bit. <laughs> any harder has got to be against some kind of goddess labor law standards thing. How many years do you think have passed since that battle? Enough! You two, sit down right now! How many Day years has it been? Day pound into your thick skulls exactly what it means to be a CPU! Oh, boy. What? Brain check, please. And why just us? What about them? Pardon us, Neptune. I believe we shall be taking our leave now. You better not give Eastwire any more trouble, you hear me? The wisest one is she who avoids danger. Oh man, they're quicker to run away than I run toward the fridge. So lame. Don't abandon me. Silence! Your task now is to listen intently to my lecture. The primary duty of any CPU is... Uh, um, well, nice to meet you. Or maybe it's more like... It's been a while, everyone. There you Eastwar's go. Eastwar's lecture will last for quite some time. So allow me to use this chance to introduce us. First, I'm Neptune's... No, no. I'm a big girl now, so... I'm Nepgear, the CPU candidate of Planetune, and Neptune's little sister. She's Planetune's CPU. All of the CPU's younger sisters have the title of CPU candidate. Let me tell you about them. Oops. Actually... I'll introduce them a bit later. Oh, but the three CPUs who were just playing with my sister are the leaders of the other nations. Noir's from Last Station, Vert's from Leanbox, and Blonde's from Louis. They argue and tease one another a lot, but they're actually good friends. Um, I think. We're currently getting lectured by Eastoir. My sister calls her Isti. She's Planetune's Oracle and acts as our Basilicom's boss. She helps us handle our workload. Supposedly, she's neither human nor a CPU, but an mm -hmm. artificial super being that's the world every... I'll stop myself there. Sorry, I don't really know all the details. Uh, so, the 
current game industry is really peaceful, which is why the four CPUs are always playing around. Before this peace, the deity of Sin almost destroyed our world when she was resurrected. Neptune and our CPU allies fought really hard for the sake of our future. All I'm trying to say is that my sister and the other CPUs can get things done when they have to. Maybe. Whoops, the lecture's almost over. Sorry to cut off my introductory narrative, but I'll finish later. Is how all CPUs should be. Let us end today's lesson here. She... she's finally done. Gah, my legs are sawing tingly logs. Can anyone spare me some parallaxin? <laughs> well, wait, Neptune! I can't seem to stand up either. And just how long do you two intend to crawl around on the floor like infants? But we just said that our legs are asleep. Steve, you talk more than a phone. Look at my cute thighs are quivering like jelly or whatever. Did you learn nothing from my lecture about how a CPU ought to behave and speak? Yes. Then I assume you have both taken a hard look at yourselves and now understand its importance, yes? Uh, if a CPU has to be honest, I gotta admit that less than half even entered my ear hole. Shh! Neptune, don't admit to that! If you understand, then get out there and do your jobs this instant, ladies! This is really mad. I never thought she would blow us out of there with her voice. She was seriously serious, huh? Yes. If we don't get some real work done today, she might grow even more upset. I guess we gotta. I'd rather nap, but let's hoof it and beat stuff up for a bit. You'd rather nap? Really? Looks like this now. What is that thing? Is that a chirper up there? How do I, how do I access it? Wow, we the world is so big. Rapid hits only three hits, so I'd rather have power slash in that case. Yo, Neptune, what what happened? You're level one. You were just level fifty. Oh wow. Oh oh wow. Oh wow. This is, uh, what do you call it? The Game of Big Tech text box. Okay, so some people just mumble whatever comes to mind. Of course, the main character, me, does the exact same thing. Get ready for some pants splitting funny comments. Think you can manage to read all the comments in the game? Oh, I'm gonna try.
Famitsu. Wow. Wow. Actually, I got a, I got some other items, I think. say work like work words like work that means do things like quests right even though we're cpus we gotta look for work like the common folk huh are you talking to someone neptune don't worry about it kid sister of mine pick out a quest that looks fun okay right which one should we do Limited time quest. I don't really don't see many limited time quests. Maybe I see it like once in a while. Okay, I guess there's this. Work, work, work. Let's do our best, Neptune. <laughs> You're fired up, I see. I detect happiness in your voice, too. <laughs> yep, it's been a while since the two of us have gone out together. Oh, really? Really? I mean, all you do is sit there and play with Noir and Bird and Blanc and not me. Hmm, yeah, I guess I'm guilty. Sorry, Dari. I failed as your big sister, making you feel lonely. No, you haven't failed at all. Because I waited patiently. I now have you all to myself today. Found an item. Jump! Kick! Enjoy playtime and I like to calm time. myself. That made me jump. Why would you shout like that? My level! Did you see that? I'm back at level one! Why, why, why? 
Um, well, you've been pretty lazy for years on end, so maybe that could work as an explanation. But, but you're totally not level one. This situation just went from rad to total bummer. I've dropped several levels too, but I did handle a few odd jobs while I was caring for you, so... I feel like I've been hacked. I was totally level 99 last time. Maybe more with DLC. Ain't wrong. I can't believe I'm weaker than you. Your big sister's dignity has been dug, has been dig dug down to. It's okay. I sure do love my strong Neptune, but even the weak Neptune is still my sister. Great, now my little sister's trying to give me pep talks. Mm -hmm. But if you really give it your all, you'll be stronger than me in no time flat, right? And she moves straight into some motivational speaking. Fine, fine. I guess I'll start. Uh, I'll get my re my rear gearing. Oh boy. Let me Yay! get that gear we carry. Tripping. Jump! Boy, jump! Kanga nip! Kanga nip! Ooh, looks neat! Oh. Just as planned. I can go anytime! Yeah! Support can sorry. always be my turn. Hey! Yeah, bye bye! Please stop! Please prepare yourself! not as easy to level up as before. Fine. 
only some I after image. try and look cool. Yeah, please hey. <sighs> we somehow won. My goodness. Gears just destroying. Don't they notice us? I need to calm myself. Here I come. I did it. Snap your face. Finally. Chestbuster. It's one. Myself. Yeah, I did. I'm oh, sorry. Yeah. Hey, I need easy. to calm myself. Yeah. Surprise attack and success. I can go anytime. Ow. Oh, I can't read. Please oh no, I did. I messed up. Always be my turn. Easy peasy. Ouchy. I need to calm myself. Hey, hey I always don't want... be my turn. Hey! Hey! A complete and utter. Hmm, 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 hmm. Hey, Bree. How's it going? Boing, boing, king the nip. Boing, 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 boing. Yay! We get to go first! How do you feel about the announcement for CS4 yes, since it's already been announced? Goodness, let oh, me tell you, I too am I excited. I've already pre-ordered. <laughs> and friend. I really shouldn't be pre-ordering in, in this time of crisis. <laughs> What's up, Sound? How's it going, fam? Just got off work, nice. Heard? All right, sound. You do what you do. Nep Jr., while we're out being responsible and killing stuff. <laughs> wow. Being responsible and killing stuff. Wow, what a line. Wanna go visit your buddies? My buddies? You mean how? <laughs> visit the other nations? You got it. I bet you want to meet up with Uni, Rom, and Ram, do you? I would, sure, but we don't get any work done today. Star would be really mad. It's not slacking off. It'll be. A peacekeeping mission that comes with snacks and a break. Do you mean it? Aha! That's the pen and Nick Jr. gave suspicion. You really don't trust me, huh? I'm sorry, Neptune. I didn't mean to use that face. You're right. Of course. If it's a quick visit, then the Swar shouldn't have a problem. That's my gullible sister. I knew you'd come around. After we say hi and take some of their food, maybe we can borrow some of their games too. Goodness, Neptune. <laughs> oh boy. But yeah. I'm ready to play CS, CS4. I'm so glad I didn't go out of my way to buy the Japanese version now. Wait, did I? Uh, I don't remember I'm anymore. Games, but, oh well. I'm starting to feel like I bought the Japanese Wait, version the and I don't remember. So I'm, I might have to check. I might have to check I'd my Japanese play account. Games, but, oh well. Ooh. Oh wait, do I have access to? Oh no, I can't access plans right now. Oh, okay.
You got the collector's Japanese version with all the books. Woo, that sounds great. I'm slight. I'm, I'll be honest. I'm slightly jealous. Just slightly. Magical girl Nikoko makes an appearance. Dressing like this into your into your twenties is pretty rough. Hi, uh, yeah. <laughs> room has to change a bit. Ahoy, Bert, we're here to visit. If you aren't here, just say so. Yes, over here. Come on in. I'm a touch preoccupied, though. Founder. Is she in the middle of her work? Maybe we shouldn't bother her. There's absolutely no chance that Bert's working. See? Hmm, the food on timer won't let me rebuild here in time. I must seek a new area to rebuild on. She's sitting at her PC, so she has to be working on her spreadsheets or documents, right? That's a, that's a statistical impossibility. Fred, you're all up in some MMO, aren't you? Right, you've come at a rather unfortunate time for me. I entered a castle siege instance right before your arrival. I will, I will be busy for three, maybe four hours. I see. Well... This is Vert, Leanbox's CPU. She looks so glamorous and noble, it's like a smart big sister, but she's a really hardcore gamer. And not only MMO, she loves all kinds of games, even some too embarrassing to mention. She forced me to play one of those one one of those ones and I almost got hooked. Ah uh, she got hooked on the naked butlers! Oh Anyway, Leanbox is only is the only nation without a CPU candidate. That's why Vert treats that's why Vert treats Lean Box's Oracle Chica like her real younger sister. Let me get this straight. We were playing games at my place and you weren't home to play some more? Well, won't you upset Chica if you play games so much? There's no cause for concern. Chica will not be returning for some time. Huh? Did she go somewhere? Did she finally get tired of trying to get your attention? Not at all. That game continues. She's visiting a factory that produces Leanbox hardware. She mentioned a labor strike. They seek better pay. Or they promise to jump off the factory roof. Wow! What? These people are, are too serious. Chica's de desperately trying to dissuade them from taking this drastic action. Then this really isn't the time to be taking over another castle or whatever. Whatever do you mean? With her gone, I can burn through some games without hearing any complaints. I question your priority sometimes. Oh, Drat. We were talking for so long I failed to heal my comrades properly. I apologize, but will you please allow me to concentrate? That's right, Nep Jr. We're logging out of this party. Okay, let's not disturb her. No comment. No. Wow, we. The world is so big.
Hello. We're barging in. Oh, hey Nipgear, and hi to your big sister too. It's been a while, Uni. Dudette, I've told you to drop the big sister thing. It's like you aren't actually talking to me. So just so just call me Neptune, because that's my name. Oh, sorry. I can't get I can't quite get used to saying it, um Neptune. This is Uni. She's the CPU candidate of La Station and Noir's younger sister. She can be stubborn and a little contrary, but she always tries her best. She and I are best friends. Well, at least I think we are. I can never tell if she feels the same way or not. Oh yeah, in case the Oracle who lives in the La Station Basilicon with Uni and Noir. Oh, where are Noir and Kay? My sister's working. She says she has to make up for lost time and lock herself in the office. Sounds like Noir, right? She plays a lot, but she still finds a way to get things done properly. Eh, she's always so serious. That's why she and I are all are on different wavelengths. Maybe you shouldn't brag about being lazy. As for Kay, she hasn't been around for that much lately. What's up with that? She didn't resign, did she? She didn't quit, but... She said managing a peaceful country is a waste of my talent. I'm no longer needed here. And then she started up her own business. I guess she's been caught up in that ever since. Oh, I see. That certainly sounds very K-like. You must be pretty busy too, Minimoire. You gotta do the Oracle's work in her place. It's nothing to brag about. I mainly stamp and push papers. Anyone could do it. When all's said and done, my, sir my sister handles most of it anyway. Ah. You know, Neptune, hearing this makes it sound like... Uh-huh. Compared to these two workaholics, we're pretty pathetic. Anyway, Nepgear, what brings you to the station? Oh, well, we were getting some work of our own done, but then we thought we'd come here, come here to take a break. What? Coming all this way for a break? Jeez, I'm too busy to be your host for a reason like that. You're right. I'm sorry. We'll leave as soon as we can. Wait, you make it sound like I'm throwing you out. I should at least offer you something to drink. Yeah. Oh, I just happened to buy a two-player game recently. If you want, I guess I can let you try it. Oh. <laughs> is this the time to be a tsundere? Can we? I mean, is that okay? You were just saying how busy you are. What? Are you trying to say you don't want to play with me? Oh, this is that old tomato. Oh, no, no, I I'd love to, but... This, this stop trying to turn me down. Come on, let's fire it up. Okay. Sometimes the one of the Lestation sisters are clones. But hey, it's great that Uni has a friend in Nip Gear. And that's more than one. That's one more than Noir has, anyway. So mean. Let's see, blind. So the ending of these, huh? What about the ending? Ah. I'm not entirely sure what exactly what happened at the end of the second game. During the credit, the credit scene. I don't know. I don't, I'm not sure if that's canon or not. I thought it was canon, but shit hit the fan in, the, in that in that credit scene. So I'm just like, Whoa, what? <laughs> the Nancy is back. Oh wow. Made it. Yup, this is the this is snow country. We had to crunch along real snow to get here. Yeah, is it okay to be here? We've been taking this break for longer than we've been working. Oh, don't be a worry wart about that mumbo jumbo. Hey, a blonde. We want to hang out, so come hang. Oh, 
Well, zoom my zoom. I think I heard. I think I just heard the wind getting his head chopped off. Whoa. Uh oh. That oversized novelty book landed right in on your head. Are you okay? Yeah, bullseye. You're a big slowpoke, sis. Huh? Ram, are you responsible for this? Oh, you're totally not blonde. <laughs> it's just Neptune anyway. Now, now, you shouldn't talk like that to people older than you. Neptune, Junior, me thinks you should be worried about something else. Oh, that's right. How's your head? Bumpy? I'm being serially, serially serious. I would have died if it belly flopped directly on my face. It looked like it got you pretty square on the head to me. Come on, Ram. Your pranks are getting a bit violent for my taste buds. Nah, it's your fault not for being such a bad dodger. What's going on? You're being loud. It's Miss Napgear. Four days till puppy. Wait, you're getting a puppy in four days? Holy shit. Wait, is that normal to get a puppy in four days? What kind of dog is it? Or is your current dog pregnant? I, I don't know if your, your dog is male or female, by the way. You've been planning her for three years. Oh, that's nice. Boy, that sounds really, really pleasant, to be honest. That's that's good. Do, do you have any do you have any plans of what you're going to do with the the puppy? Are you going to keep it or are you gonna pass it around or how how is this going? I'm I'm still not sure if you're adopting one or if your current dog is pregnant. You just want to snuggle her. Hmm 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 hmm. I think I'm a little confused right now. <laughs> She's eight weeks on this on this Saturday. Oh, okay, all right. So she is pregnant. Oh boy, that's gonna be a fun ride. Hmm. What kind of dog do you have again, Bree? Uh, I don't. I don't think I ever asked. So I actually don't. No, wait. What? Wait. 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 Your pup was born, and you and your pup's going to be eight weeks old. And you're wait. I'm so confused. Oh, wait, how many dogs do you have again? <laughs> I thought you had one. Was I wrong? <laughs> I only I only remember you having one. You have two now. Okay. All right. I see. You know, I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of jealous. Okay, so you have two now, and you're picking the next one, picking up the next one on, well, picking one of them up on Friday. I'm jealous because I, I, I want, 
I want a dog as a pet, or a cat, or just some kind of animal as a pet. But uh, I, I, I don't, I don't have what it takes to take care of one. I, I am an incompetent caretaker. That's the reason why I don't get pets. Oh my goodness, Ram's going to destroy Neptune. Why did Nina leave? What in the world? Okay, alright. Let's see. Five cats, three crawfish, 13 fish, and two dogs. Yo, that's a lot. How do you manage to take care of so many pets? That, that is, that is way too many, no two, oh, okay, yeah, that, that makes sense. Still though, that's a lot though. If we were to think, if, well, if, you know, at least, at least if, if, from my perspective, if I were to think of it as like, each one being one child, that's a lot already. I don't think I could do more than maybe two, Oh, I don't think I could do more than maybe two pets at one time. It's just, it's... No, I take that back. I don't think I can manage even one, really. <laughs> ah, the remake system. Okay, there we go. I kind of want to use it, but I'm not gonna. No, but if I want to finish this game in time, I'm, I, I might have to use it. But for now, I'll just I'll leave it off for the time being. Hmm? What's this quest? Disband citizen group protest? Oh, that thing. Yeah, Isty was all blah blah some citizens rights group during her lecture. How did she? Are you saying I listened harder than you did? I guess you were mumbling at the TV screen a lot. Th that was just your imagination! More importantly, <laughs> please tell me about this group. If I must, leave your higher education to Professor Nepnep. Some folks are calling for the CPUs to resign, saying they want to enact their own laws or something. Damn, oh, that's actually, bad. I think I did hear about them the last time I went out to do some work, I believe. It's led by someone named Ray Wright, isn't it? Oh, is it? I'll come clean and admit that I was winging my explanation because I barely listened to the lecture. Last I heard, they weren't causing any sort of trouble. But since the guild has issued a quest, maybe they're becoming more active. Such hijinks, I say! Who could survive without us CPUs? But things have been fine, even with all of us slacking off. That makes it a tough question to answer. Hmm. Yep, Junior. You're still so wet behind the years. The important thing is that folks feel safe with CPUs around. Whether we toil our bums off or not is second to merely existing. Work totally doesn't matter. 
Wait, so... Wait, so you guys are trying to, trying to decrease the amount of cats, but more and more keep coming. Oh, wait, how do you attract cats in the first place, though? Then again... Me... Me, me, me and cats... Don't really get along, so I don't know, maybe that's a whole different other story. You wouldn't go that far. But you're right. I can't question the importance of CPUs when I'm going to become one myself. I'm sorry. Well, just so you understand, let's go break up those picketers by protesting their protest. Yeah! Whoosh! Lizard scale. Lizard scale. Where do I get this from? Wait, where did I get that drop from? Oh wait, yeah, lizard man. Yeah, makes sense. Time to be awesome. Take a nap. Woo, this is gonna take some getting used to. Time to be awesome. Wow. So this is what it's like running around Planet Toon. Mm. They know they know you care. She's the youngest, she's three and named after Nepnep. Is there a reason why she's named after Nep after Nep? Nep? This gear is so strong. Level up. Kangnip! 
Oh, wait. Kinga, kinga, nip. Could I? No. She's a shit, love her dearly, but she's a she's a troublemaker. Okay, that explains everything. Let's see. the presentation for there. Sorry, oh, I got one. for this one is so <laughs> much nicer I need to calm myself here I come hey, oh, I, got one. Nip your face. I have to try and look cool Said, you also got a fish tank to entertain her during the day, so it works. If I can, I can go anytime. Does your cat watch? 
Does she watch the uh, the other fishes? Just watches the fish. Does nothing to them. Just watches them. Boing. I'm I'm slightly day amazed. Nip. Day in and day, day out, just watches nip. them. Jump. Wait, is she, if she's a troublemaker, Boing. then Boing. does she Kangnip. is she a lazy cat by chance Boing. or not? Nah? No, 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 not lady. I, 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 I kind of assumed it was she was a lady already. Uh, I meant, is she lazy? Boing. Like half the day, throughout the day. Land. I need to calm myself. There. I can't imagine I being lazy if she's a troublemaker, though. Yeah. I can go anytime. She's the one that likes to hide. In the wall. In, hide in the wall. Of all the places, the walls. Wow. Hey, I need to calm myself. Please prepare yourself. My wall. Jump. Kanga nip. Kanga nip. Jump. Kanga nip. Oh my goodness, Boing. it's not dropping! She's, she found a small, unfinished portion in the house and hid it for three days. I, uh, three, three days! The only some I, I can go anytime! That, that really I can't be healthy. Me. She, she play. literally didn't come up for three days? Just because she was cool. hiding? Please prepare yourself! Yo, this item is not dropping. Wow. Huh? Already? That counts as a surprise attack. What? Ouchie. I can go anytime. They were so lenient in the second game. Dang. There! I did it! Please prepare yourself! It always be my turn. Just Buster! Here you go! Ouchie! Slightly impressed to hear that that she was chasing a cat. I'm uh, not chasing a cat. She was chasing a mice for three days. I'm slightly impressed. Going here, huh? I need this. I need to destroy that tulip. Guess as long as you love her. Boing. Is this a chance? You're playing, sorry. Oh, that hurt. Please prepare yourself. Yeah. Jump, boing. Don't 
try and look cool. She's all black and that makes her hard to find. Wait, I... Boing. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. Jump. Boing. I... Does that mean she's only hard to find because she blends into the shadows? Kanga because... Nip. Kanga nip. Jump. I, don't... Boing. I don't remember your walls being like really, really dark when I go and watch the stream once in a while. I could be wrong. So correct me if I'm wrong. Let's go. Kanga nip. Kanga nip. Ah, okay, yeah, I, I understand. Or at least I think I understand. Um, please read this pamphlet. It says how our lives would be wonderful without CPUs around. Yo, get out my way, lady! Huh. <laughs> uh, sorry, sorry. Pardon me. Please accept this informative pamphlet. We need to have proper laws, not CPUs. Mommy, what does this lady mean? Hush, don't look at her. Come along. Oh dear, no one will take them. And I spent all night hand copying over a hundred of them too. Oh god, that sounds awful. We were supposed to have formed a large rally today, but not a single participant showed up. Maybe this is a waste of time. Nobody would follow someone like me anyway. No, I mustn't waver. No, 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 no. She kind of cute. It's okay, Sam. All right. I won't return home until I've passed out each and every one of these. That's my decision. Hey, protesters! What do you think you're doing? Oh, dear. I'm sorry. So, so sorry. She's she's not like a nosh. It's fine. The only one? We had heard that a formal group was showing up to protest. Uh, well, that... That was the original plan, but nobody came. Oh, so you're passing out those pieces of paper all alone. Um, whatever the case, we received a complaint about it, so we must ask that you stop, Miss... Oh, yes, sorry. I'm the head representative for the citizens group, Ray Wrights. Um, if I may ask, who are you? You seem vaguely familiar. No. Wait! No way! You're Miss Neptune and Miss Nepgear, the CPU and CPU candidate! Aw, go me! <laughs> Even random people on the street recognize me now. <laughs> well, you are a CPU after all. Still, it's embarrassing for someone older than us to say, Miss. Uh, what have I done? I made the CPUs themselves come out to punish me! What should I do? No! I'm sorry! She's already out of sight. <laughs> this is the majesty of a CPU. People see me and run for their lives. Uh, I don't think they should be I doing get the that. I feeling she was just a cowardly woman, but okay. She mentioned that she represents that group, so maybe they aren't a big deal after all. Uh-huh. Isti was using all her processing power to overanalyze things again. I'm trying my hardest? Even when I'm just human? Even though I'm powerless? You guys act the same way. When I first found this one, I laughed so hard I puked. We may act the same way, but she's giving it her all. I hesitate to even give it a try. Uh, yeah. If you don't start to entertain me pretty soon, I'm gonna die from boredom. <sighs> um, I have a request. Would you listen to it? Huh? What is it? My power. There isn't much left. 
But will you please deliver what remains to her for me? I don't mind. Why the heck do you want to do this? It may sound odd coming from me, but I want to cheer her on. <laughs> Is that not a good reason? Am I being too demanding? Mm, whatever. I'll make an exception. Just this once. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Yeah, you better be grateful. I'll get the ball rolling now. Yes, please. Maybe I'll give it one last shot, too. <laughs> Things are about to get real interesting. What in the world is happening? <laughs> Same with Cat. Uh, let's see. Boing, boing. The boy see her and run. Boing. The three boy cats run Boing. from her. Oh my goodness. Boing, king the nap, Boing. I I've no comment for that one. I guess she's just too magnificent. Should we head home now, Neptune? You bet. Since we worked like hogs today, Isty has to have calmed down. We're home! We're back! Welcome home, Nap Nap! Welcome home, Gigi! Wow, so the rumor about you two getting to work was true. Maybe it'll rain milk tomorrow. Hello, IF. I didn't know you and Kampa would already be back. It's rare for you two to get back from work before us. It's not that it's rare. You two are always holed up in this place being lazy all day. Hmm. Kampa and I have careers to go to every single day, unlike you two. Ouch. Your words sting like a cactus. You can scold them later, Iffy. Dinner is almost ready, so I must ask that you two go wash those hands. Score! Kampa's delightful dinner. Ayeth and Kampa are my sister's oldest and closest friends. They're like unofficial roommates. But of course, they're my close friends as well. Ayeth is a guild agent. She's very responsible and has a lot of fun scolding Neptune. But however mad she gets, she still feels like a kind and sweet girl. She's really cool. As for Kampa, she's a nurse by day and comes to the Basilicom at night to handle household chores. So awful at those sorts of things, and I do feel bad about her doing it all, but. Whoops! Dinner's ready! I'll stop narrating for now. Be still, my aching stomach. Kampa, your cooking gets better with every bite. I do my very best so I can see your happy reactions, Nap Nap. So, how'd it feel to get some work done? We were a little rusty, but we didn't have too much trouble. You did not attempt to visit the other nations in order to slack off, did you? Oh, no? What? No! Where's the faith, Isti? Don't be obvious or anything. But we did our work properly. We even met the head representative of the citizens group. Oh, them. I've been hearing a little about their more recent activities. Are they big meanies? Nah, they don't pose a threat. There aren't many members, and they don't do anything illegal. They just pass out pamphlets and give little speeches on the street. Yeah, the representative didn't seem like she was into it either. Whatever. If he said it's fine, so Isti, you're worrying over nothing again. The mere fact that such a group exists is indeed a problem. This is all due to how you act as a CPU, Neptune. Yikes! Did I kick the hornet's nest? Now, now. If we start a lecture, our dinner will get cold and yucky. Fair enough. Please continue to perform your CPU duties tomorrow as well. Tomorrow? I mean, I really worked my hardest today, so I figured I'd take a few days off. 
Uh, I don't think Did it works I ask that a way. Question? Roger. <laughs> Izzy is so savage in this one, man. <sighs> Where am I? Getting shooed away by the CPUs? And then getting lost after running? Oh, why am I like this? I'm such a screw up at everything. But it's it's not like I'm doing anything wrong. Or I don't think I am. All I'm asking for are proper rules and regulations in a world without any CPUs. But nobody wants to join me. Even if people gather around, they ignore everything I say. <sighs> Maybe I should just give up. It's an impossible dream. Far too Sound? I don't I don't know Someone about this. Pathetic as me. Trying to defy the CPUs. <laughs> she she oh, don't I finally found you. She don't feel Looking like a white woman man. for 10 damn days. I can't mock you now. Hmm? You're just as hesitant as she is over there. You both falter at the slightest hiccup. Is someone there? I am. Duh. Where are you looking? I'm right over here. You say here, but I don't see anything. Uh-oh. I'm finally losing it. I'm starting to hear voices inside my head. No, you're hearing my voice. Look over here. You keep saying that, but I really don't see anyone. Huh? Man, you and her are equally slow on the uptake, too. What a pain. Huh? A small girl is... You're floating in midair? Ah! Ah, don't freaking scream like that. Man, you scared me. I'm Yo, sorry. she looks like she this looks like a, a darky star. For me. How can a girl as small as you even exist? Well, I've really lost it. I'm seeing things that aren't there. I'm not a damn hallucination. Shut up and listen to me. Yes, okay. So this is really happening? Um, who are you? Do you have business with me? Duh, why else would I come out here? I'm here because she asked me to be. You better be grateful. She? Who? I'm supposed to give this to you. She's not using it over there, so it's all yours. Enjoy. Oh, um, thank you very much. Huh? What is this dark blob of energy? You ask too many questions. Stop talking and chew on this! Ch chew on it? No matter how you look at it, this isn't food at all! I... I don't want it! I'm not hungry right now! If I tell you to eat something, you better open up like a good little birdie! Wow! No! Don't make me eat it! Stop! <laughs> open up wider! This baby's going down in one go. There you go. All done. How you feeling? <laughs> hey, I asked you a question. You gonna ignore me now or what? Hey! <laughs> Why are you foaming at the mouth? Oh, she passed out. Oh, damn it. If I leave now, that might make things super interesting for me. Okay, I'm ditching this broad. <sighs> Did I fall asleep? And in a dirty place like this? Oh no. Not only did I get lost, but I fell asleep in such a place. How pathetic am I? My goodness. <laughs> oh, what's wrong with me? I think I have heartburn. I don't feel very good. I better hurry home. I need to crawl into bed. So, is he still in a mood? I'd rather sigh all day long, but we better get to work. You've already been sighing all day. You really don't want to do this, do you, Neptune? You can tell? I worked so much yesterday that my body wants to stay still and not feel sore, you know? I say this not as a CPU candidate, but as a person. 
I think you're acting pretty childish. Maybe I really have spo you, spoiled you too much. Let's break your... Okay, I got it. Wait, wait, I have an awesome compromise. How about you work and tell me about it later, Nuff Jr.? As part of my rehab, it's important for me to slide into a few arcades and... No, bad Neptune! <gasps> Whoa, what, what's going on? Are you getting angry at me too? At this rate, you're going to be a big fat failure of a CPU. I must be more strict with you. Huh? Whoa, wait, what? Time out. If you ride me the way Isti does, I don't know if I can survive. La 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 la, I can't hear you. Go work all by yourself today. I'm staying here. No, I'm trying to say la la <laughs> la 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 la. <sighs> it's a render. If Junior gets stubborn about the weirdest things and lets her imagination run wild. Message received. I'll go work by myself. La 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 la. Yeah, gotcha. You can't hear me. Okay, bye. La la la. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, Nef Gear. Gear is so cute. She's so cute, man. But I have the second highest shares. Do I really want to keep doing quests? She's gonna divert the national budget for a new game. I, I guess I'll just pick some everything up. <laughs> Level five. Who needs to fight? It ain't gonna be me. No sorry, not today. Uh, nothing going on over there. Aha, I see the event. Well, oh, actually, I do want to check. Alright, so I have 6834. Oh, yeah, so that, that does give me credits. Okay. It's only about 300 credits, but well, I guess it's better than nothing. by myself. I don't know what to do on my own. Well, props to Noir. I'm not envious that she handles loneliness so well, but I can respect it. Uh, where am I? Whoa, is someone retching nearby? Uh, yikes, I'm sorry. Oh, so, so sorry. Uh, I mean, is, uh, is someone there? Oh good, I'm saved! Please help me. I've been lost for such a long time. Well, howdy my duty. You're that citizen group whatever from the other day. Uh huh? Ah! The, the, the CPU! No, no! Don't run away again. Honestly, I don't care who you are. I just need someone to hang with. <laughs> Joking. Please let go of my collar. Oops. <laughs> 
My bad. You okay? <coughs> uh, why, why would a CPU be in a place like this? Because I'm working hard, like the dependable and exemplary CPU that I am. Um, honestly, I don't think that's true. If it were, I wouldn't have formed my group. <laughs> my pride. You've got a pretty razor blade tongue, huh? I... I'm so sorry. I said such rude things when I haven't the right to badmouth you. Uh, I don't care. Did you say you're lost? Uh... Have you been lost since you ran away yesterday? <laughs> That's amazing. You're a savant at poor navigation. Huh. I guess I shouldn't worry about it, but you're that group's leader? <laughs> How's that uh, going for you? Bad. It's not going at all. I see. Just as I deduced, that actually helps me out. If you were super dependable, I'd have to work even harder to prove you wrong. No need to point out the irony. I'm totally dominating this chat, huh? You say words now. It must be fate that we met again, you know? <clears throat> why do... Why do you... Uh, can't hear you. Try turning up your mouth volume. Why are you so blunt? I'm clearly in distress, but you... Huh? Are you... trying to sound angry? Oops. Sorry, you're right. We just met, so I shouldn't be so conversational or whatever. Why would you apologize to me? How do you remain so composed? Well, what the heck, man? How am I supposed to act? I already <laughs> know more than anyone just how much of a sad sack I am. But why do I have to hear it from a CPU's mouth? Why? Whoa. I think I flipped a very weird switch in her brain. Neptune's never around at times like this. <laughs> Great, now she's crying on my shoes. A grown woman totally just started bawling in public. If I think about it, I'm indirectly at fault, huh? Okay, <laughs> I said sorry, so stop crying. Uh, please. My reputation will tank if someone sees this situation. You apologized again! Why do you insist on mocking me? <laughs> no good. There's no consoling her. Wow. Oh, I kind of feel like crying. Someone, anyone, help! <laughs> CPUs shouldn't... <laughs> CPUs shouldn't... <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. I'm a CPU, and I shouldn't have been rude. Stop crying, okay? CPUs should you all just disappear. Oh, I sure okay. would. If that's all it is, I'll just disappear on back home. I don't normally mess up like this. Hey, Crochet. I'm supposed hey, to make folks smile, not cry Hi, guys. like that. Hmm? Oh! Delete people. Yeah. <laughs> Freaking awesome. This is way more interesting than I thought it would be. Uh, I. I did this? <laughs> I did it. Me! It oh my me. gosh, you went crazy. Look at that face. Oh my it's goodness. Pretty late. Maybe I shouldn't have let her go alone. Please hurry home, Neptune. Wow. Now I'm starting to understand what happened at the end of the second game. Hurry home, Neptune. Oh yeah, no, no, no. We're gonna be gone. We're we're gonna be gone for a while. 
Shadow Links is bae, but you wish you could do well like ninjas huh? and pop its tactics. Fooling! Totally fooling you guys! But I mean, this always happens, so I'm used to it. Something like this won't make me panic. <laughs> Still, I've been falling for a while now. We're <laughs> reaching uncharted territory with this flight length. Uh, this velocity is no joke. Wait, I'm sensing that I might be in danger. That's bad, isn't it? It's super bad news bears, right? <laughs> what do I do? Hey, wait. You walk so fast. You're just slow. That's why I said you should stay behind instead of come with me. Hmm. But I really wanted to go with you. Huh? What are those ant-like gloves? Huh? A pair of girly girls? Wow, my experience as a faller speaks volumes. It's awesome that I can make them out from way up here. <laughs> or is it my eyesight that's awesome? If I were up to bat, would I be able to count a baseball stitches? Wait, I don't care about that right now. I'm falling fast and my current landing trajectory is... Snap! Move, 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 move! Huh? Hey, what are you spacing out for? I'm kind of in a hurry, you know. Yeah, I know, but... Crochan, I just have better taste. Um, it's called being refined, okay? Hmm. I wonder how I should put it. Jeez, you're such a flake. Get it out already! Um, well, up in the sky, there's a person. We'll see a how far we get the Nep series. The sky? Uh, you're so hard to get sometimes. Well, I think it's more like um, the person is falling. Uh, what? We're out in the middle of nowhere, so how and why would someone fall out of the sky? The thing is, Noir. Well, um. At this rate, you're a... Uh... I'm... Move, 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 move! Huh? Ah! Wow-wee. What a loud crash. Ouch! Man, that was scary. That had to have shaved a few years off my life. Oh, you're still... Alive? Are you okay? What's up? Oh, nah. <laughs> a fall like this is nothing. <laughs> I'm what you'd call a seasoned skyfaller. What a title. I, mean, I can't lose my memory every single time I fall from the sky. <laughs> wow. <Whoa>. Shit. <laughs> a seasoned skyfaller. But, um, Noir is. Oops. Sorry to freak you out. I'm Neptune. Nice to meet you. Huh? Anyways. Oh, oh. I want to introduce you. You just don't know, Crochan. You just I'm don't know. Ludia. It's nice to meet you. Cool. That name totally sounds like something a magical girl who loves takoyaki would have. <laughs> What's a takoyaki? <laughs> uh, never mind. Lydia, huh? Too many syllables for my taste. How about I call you Pluty? Oh, okay. In that case, let me give you a nickname too. Hmm. I like Nappy. Nice one, Pluty. By the by, where are we? I don't know if I've ever been here before. Here? This is Planetune. It was chartered just a little while ago. Planetune? Nuh-uh. I know Planetune like the back of my head. And that stuff about it being new or whatever is wrong. What? Really? I'm telling you the truth. Oh, Wait, did I time travel? Or is this really a different this is dimension? Some kind of hidden camera reality show thing, isn't it? You picked the wrong girl to play a prank on. <laughs> Ain't no way you'd be able to trick Planetune's CPU. Whoa! You're a CPU? I had no idea that you're Planetune's CPU, too. <laughs> Allow me to reveal my true identity. Uh, wait. Two? What do you mean? 
<laughs> I'm Planetune CPU too. We can be CPU twins. All right. Really? Wow! What a coinky dinky! I never would have thought I'd land next to another Planetune CPU. But isn't that kind of weird? I'm already the CPU, so why is there another one? <laughs> How long are you gonna chat while sitting on me? Just keep touching that butt. I see everything. I see it all. I see it all. Holy seat cushions! Someone's sprouting out of the earth. Are the mole people making their move? Uh oh. You are. You never told me that you're a mole person. Because I'm not, obviously. Did you forget that I was here? Oopsies. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I was having so much fun talking to Neffy that I forgot. As for you, falling out of the sky? Really? It's absurd that you fell on me like that. Yeah, I'm sorry and all that, but it's not like I fell because I wanted to. It was one of those unstoppable, complex, plot-advancing inevitabilities, or whatever. <laughs> oh, wait. It's just noir. I take back my apology, then. <laughs> How do you know my name? <laughs> Don't be so snooty. We're best buds, so there's no need for anger. Stop evading and answer my question. Wow, noir. You're friends with Nephi, too? I don't know this weirdo. Jeez, you're acting pretty familiar for someone I just met. Just met? What are you? <gasps> Noir, could you be in your epic piss pot mode right now? Yikes! Then I'm really sorry. I mean, I'm unharmed, so I'm sure it didn't hurt you either. <laughs> Stop grabbing at me! I honestly have no idea who you are. Huh? Really? You seriously don't know me? Oh, maybe I fell on your brain. Did I transfer my penchant for memory loss to you? The only one with brain damage here is you. Aw, I'm so jealous. You two are such close friends. How could you have possibly come to that conclusion? I know. Let's visit those medicine people. The folks in white coats can check you out and fix you up. <laughs> uh, Supposed to get a doctor? You're the one who needs to see a doctor. What is up with this girl? Whatever. I give up. We're going home, Plutia. Okie dokie. What about the thing you had to do? It doesn't need to be done today. And more importantly... No! Noir, I'll vanish if you forget about me! Me, me! <laughs> oh, but you're free to forget about all the game cases and manuals you let me borrow that I misplaced. It's much more important that we get this strange girl to a place where she can rest and recover. Man. What? You mean that you sent her to this world? Instead of sent, it was more like a happy accident. <laughs> oh boy. This is no laughing matter. But this is kind of like your just desserts, huh? In a twisted and unsavory manner of speaking. <laughs> hey, Blushy. Ugh, you don't have to laugh so hard. In any event, something needs to be done. And what is this something? Um, well... I'll report it to everyone else and they'll figure out what to do. Policy is others, huh? Pathetic. Are they dependable? I everything will work out. The seven stages will be able to do something. Probably. How many times do I gotta say it? Are you listening to my words? I'm me, and you know me, Noir. <sighs> this feels hopeless. She must have hit her head really, really hard. Oh, so Neppy's gonna die? I'm not gonna spin the bucket. If I up and croak, the game will show a screen saying you're dead. This, <laughs> God damn it, Dark Soul reference. God, there's, there's so many references. It's literally, it's, it's like every other line, bro. You're so stubborn, Noir. 
I mean, pretending not to know me is a good joke for a few minutes, but keeping it up is the same as bullying. I'm not pretending. I have no idea who you are. And then there she goes again. Then how come I know all your secrets, huh? Whoa, you know her secrets? Yeah, right. Fine, let's hear all about me. Come on, don't be shy. Okay, I'm gonna do it. Hmm, hmm. I'll start with the easy one. Noir, you're the CPO of the station. Ooh, wow, Noir, you're a CPU too? No, I'm not. Well, not yet, but the station sounds like a pretty cool name. And you got a kid sister named Uni. Gosh, I had no idea you had a little sister. Because I don't. If I did, I would have introduced you. And thirdly, the clincher. Noir has no friends. Gah. Oh, you don't have any friends? That's so sad. Huh? Wait, does that mean we aren't friends? What are you talking about? We're, you know, we're friends. We are? Yay. Huh? Goody. This is gonna be an itty bitty awkward question, but are you really her friend? Uh-huh. My best buddy. Hey, don't say something embarrassing like that out loud. Friend, huh? Noir actually has a friend? No, she's a clone. This Noir is totally fake. What? That's pretty offensive, you know. Wow, I had no idea you were a clone this whole time, Noir. <laughs> What? What? What is this? What? Plutia's personality is just so random. She just goes along with everything. I'm not a clone. You really need to stop believing every little thing she says. Whoa, what's going on? Let's be cool with the K, Neptune. Become one with the cool. We've determined that the girl before us is absolutely a clone, with the same mannerisms and all. Stop talking about me like you found something out. Stop it right now. Are you two arguing? Hey, no fighting. Not like I want to or anything. It's just that this girl is so... Ugh. I, I know. We just gotta blast the, the, the pseudo skin off this robot clone. Proton can... Proton cannon fire! Oh my goodness. You will not let it go, will you? If you don't stop this, stop with this clone nonsense, I'll get pissed. You two really are arguing. I don't like that. If you, if you don't start playing nice, I might get angry. My spine just froze. Oh crap. We, we won't fight, okay? We won't. So calm down, please. Hurry, and, hurry up and apologize. Yeah, we're uh, sorry. Oh, okay. That's much better. What was that cold feeling? And not cold like cute penguins, cold like murder. Murderous penguins. God damn it! Okay. Yo. After the, after going through all the, the reintroductions and everything, the story's picking back up for me. I'm not, I, I'm, I'm not joking. I don't know who you are or what the nonsense is that you spew. But don't upset Pluty if you value your life. Oh, really? I don't get it, but that sounds like good advice. I'm so happy you two made up. But yeah, Neppy, you hit your head and now you're confused, right? Um, no. A at least I don't think so. Well, until you feel all better, stay here. I'll take good care of you. What? No, I mean, thanks, but were you listening to the words my mouth was wheezing? You can't be serious, Plutia. You'll let some weird girl you don't even know stay here. I'm always serious. We all know that a CPU helps those in need, don't we? True, but what if she's an underling for the Seven Sages? That's still major trouble. Seven Sages? What is the Seven Sages? What the hell? Was it? it what? I have no idea. And if, and if Plutia is a CPU, what is she supposed to represent? What, what, what console is she representing? Seven Sages? What are they? Do they come in dark chocolate? Don't worry, Nephi isn't a bad girl. I guess, the odds are really low for them to employ someone this empty-headed. Oh, come on! What are the chocolate sage things? Tell me, tell me! I don't, I'm not obligated to tell you anything. Ooh, why are you being such a mean bean machine? What? 
Don't call me that. Are you two going to start fighting after all? Nope, we have no intention of fighting at all. Isn't that right? Right, we're friends forever. Look at how we hug and don't cringe. Oh, how sweet. <laughs> I guess they misunderstood. I'll repeat myself one last time. If you stay here, do not make Pudia angry. Got it? Yeah. Teach me, you see. Coupling. Okay, Lily, 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 Lily support system. Gotcha. Next. Okay, even though I'm against it, let's put aside the fact that you're keeping her here until she's better. Um, where do we put it? Well, blow my cartridge and call me a 64 pin connector. This is a game? It's a crazy retro, you guys. Hey, mind if I start it up? I can play it, right? Yes, of course I can. Power on! Oh, blurry pixel art, ahoy. Haha, <laughs> look at this. Did they make this game in five minutes? This is the, ep this is the epitome of shovelware. You're fine with letting it roll all over the floor like this? Silly Neppy, that game is best when played with a friend. Let's play it together. Oh, sweet. Let's get playing. Hey, don't prove off with her. Oh, can't I? Just for a little bit? Yeah, come on, Noir. Just for a bit. Don't be a cur- A curmudgeon. Don't curmudge in me. Do you even understand the situation you're in? Situation to start. Right now, I'm in Pluties Pacificon with lots of old games and manga, and... So given the situation, I've got to try them all out. Uh, right? That's not what I meant. Before you hit your head, you might have had family or your friends, no? Those people might be worried about you, so do you really think it's the time to fool around? Oh, okay, you're right. I'm like a missing person's case. Hip Jr. is the... And them must be worried, but even if I try to go home, I don't know where I am. Oh, no, our Neppy is sick, so... Or, um, more like, injured? Either way, you should be nicer to the poor girl. You only say that because you want to hang out with her. <laughs> Guilty as charged. Hmm. Well, no reason to waste brain power meant for gaming. It'll work out, so let's play. Oh no, I want to play as that character. Ugh, knock it off, you two. Whoa. Huh? Ludia, you should be working. What kind of CPU just sits around and plays games? Oh, I'm so sorry. And you. Even if you don't care about getting your memories back, at least pull your weight. No worky, no foodie. Got it? Oivy, here, here goes tomorrow getting all hot and bothered after telling me not to anger Pluty. Now that you both agree with me without question, let's move. We're going to work. Well, I have Pluty and Moira now. Yo, I gotta look around this place. Otori Forest? Is this, play, is this a play on Atari? Where are we going? Is Plutia is Plutia Atari? Yo, I think Plutia is Atari. Um, hmm. I can't decide. I don't think Plutia and Neptune are the same consoles. Pretty sure they're not the same consoles. Oh, that's a pretty hat. What the hell? Wait, where's the house? Wait, where's the ribbon at? That's a house ribbon. Where is it? What? I don't see it. Am I missing something? Hold up. What? Where's the ribbon at? It must be... I, I, I don't know. Oh, 
Oh, okay. Alright, well. That's not. It's so good, though! My goodness. It's okay. Oh, jeez. What do I use Noir as? I don't think I use it for Rush. But then again, I honestly don't remember. I think... Did I use him as a breaker? I feel like I used Noir as a breaker. I didn't use Noir at all in the last game, so I honestly don't remember. profile to spark my interest hell no hell no that game gave me PTSD fuck that talking about hey you want the ultimate equipment you need to grind this character up to level 45 before you send him away Where are we going? next you know what did I'm what am, where am I I'm just like uh, I'm I'm literally Whatever. I'm literally I level 50 in a level 20 area hey. man fuck this game I'm so Hurry, tired of it Awful man. Whatever. I guess I can go with you. Going here, huh? All right. So I guess I'm just gonna pro progress the story a little bit more, and then I'm gonna call it a night. Yo, this place sounds extra loud with the birds. Am I tripping? Surprise attack and success. Let's end this quick. Got you. Got you. You. Why can it always be my turn? Just it's all over. Huh? Me? Oh, wait a little bit more. I blinked, and it was over. Is all that? <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna run into a familiar face today. And yep. And just as I say it, it comes true? Where am I? Oh nice, it's Cave! You are Neptune, correct? 
<laughs> Dingly doo! You got it! Everyone's favorite thing, Neptune! Then, this is Planet Neptune? I was just a lean box. Uh, but let me explain. Let me see. So this is a different dimension. Our meaning is fortuitous. While it may not be much, allow me to lend you my strength. Let us find a way back home together. Oh boy! The time has come again for me to browse in Chan for all the new memes. What's the hottest thread here? Whoa! It says a boat got caught in a freak storm and a passenger went overboard and is missing! Yeesh, I hope they can swim. The what is this like? It's all up in my eyes, you guys! How? I'm gonna drown! I'm dying! Air! I need air! Someone help! Uh, huh? Where is this? Am I saved? The light gave birth to a girl and she's all wet from the uh, light birthing or whatever. <laughs> um, huh? Behold, the face of someone who has no idea what's going on. I was caught in a storm, got tossed into the sea and then I really thought I was drowning. Do you know what happened? Hmm. I will answer you because my soul is approximately 50% kindness. So basically, a light appeared and you fell out of it. A light? I suppose I did see a strange luminescence in the ocean. I heard laughter too. Laughter? Under the sea? Yes. In the middle of the ocean, I heard, I heard someone laughing like coo 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 or something. Hmm. That Shinibio laugh could only belong to... Oh, I have introduced myself. I'm Falcom, an adventurer. Falcom? Now that I look at that cute mug of yours, I guess you do resemble her. Huh? Hey folks, Falcom is an adventurer who fought against ASIC with us in the previous game. This chickadee is smaller than the Falcom I know, so she must belong to this dimension. I'm Neptune. Me thinks it was fate that brought us together, so it's good to meet you. Likewise. You say you got caught up in a storm on a boulder or something, right? Where were you headed? I'm glad you asked. There's a newly discovered island in the South Seas, apparently. A wild, unexplored land like that is perfect for an adventurer like me to explore. Nice. Exploring the Badlands, eh? So are you a tough, stale cookie? Yes, I'm still new to adventuring, but I've slayed countless baddies with my trusty sword. No! Gone! Everything's gone except for my sword! Did all my other luggage sink to the bottom of the ocean? What should I do now? My supplies and my money. Oh no! Youch, my wallet feels for you. But wait, why not come squat at my place for a while? Huh? Are you sure? Yeah, gotta help the helpless or something. Thank you so much, Neptune. Boy. You know what? I think I'm gonna use DLC characters in this game. Wait, I can only recruit two characters? Or is it three? I can only recruit three characters? Like... Yo, what? Wait, 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 Not enough. 
I get the very distinct feeling that there aren't enough Chinevio folks in my party. The series sells on the fact that we've got charming diverse girls to battle battle baddies with. So there's an overwhelming lack of delusional Chinevio characters, excluding Ify. Hmm. To give our players what they need, where could I find a silly and delusional girl around here? Ideally, they'd also be mysterious and intelligent. In other words, a magician type character. Such a convenient person can possibly make an appearance in the next line. <laughs> Great giggles of despair, what was that? Hmm, where is this? And now someone appeared? Hello, it's me. A mysterious light enveloped me and now I am standing in an unfamiliar land. It may be the organization's great conspiracy at play. Investigate it quickly, but with great caution. Ah, uh, hey. I wish you luck. I am man, bro. I'm not, I don't even think I want to try to say that. Luke's to need a mag noitam... 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 Was it Saisom or Saisom? I don't I don't remember how she says it. Phew. Hmm? Who are you? No, don't tell me. I get this... I feel this is not a first time meeting. Let's start with names, okay? My name? I see. I shall call myself Magus. Magus, huh? No, Magus. I see. I see, I see. Magus, huh? I'm telling that it is Magus. You forsook the period. It is part of my name. So do not forget to say it. I don't see how it affects the pronunciation, but whatever. Magus, it is then. And you? You are Neptune, yes? Uh-huh. The protagonist of all main characters. The heroine of all things. Neptune. You must understand... You must understand the situation. I ask that you explain it to me. I see. I thought our paths had crossed before, but to think you were the CPU from my world, all is in intentional. Still, to think I would just send dimensions due to my magical science accident for dimensional sliding. Dimensional what's hopping science? Do you eat it? How's it taste? To keep the explanation simple, I was experimenting with spells that allow one to travel dimensions. Dimensional travel research? Magicians can do that stuff? I am no mere magician. Chosen by fate, I have vast knowledge of not just magic, but science as well. I fuse the two dis disciplines. <laughs> not discipline, disc disciplines, okay. Into one, and then I, the mad magician, can make all things possible. <laughs> That's the laugh. It belongs to the mad magician, of course. Ha 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 ha! So if we use your fancy pants space travel science magic, can I get back to my dimension? No, that is impossible. I am in the midst of my research into dimensional transcendence, so the spell is not is yet incomplete. As I said before, due to an accident during my experimentations, I was sent here by sheer happenstance. Alright, to reproduce the situation, there is no guarantee we will go back to our original dimension. Got it. I thought we could, but eh. <laughs> Never fear. Magus, the Mad Magician, will finish researching dimensional slides and return you to your world safely. <laughs> Bro, man, I can't be doing this laugh all the time, man. Yo, wait, what? Wait, I only got mages this time? I'm so confused! How does this work? Like, I was able to get... I was able to get Cave... And Falco. What, 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 what is... What is the limitation for me? How, how... Like, what? <laughs> oh. I don't know who I want.
I wonder... Hmm... Who do I want? Damn! This is... I'm, I'm gonna take Falco. Always gotta have Falco. But I feel like if I grab Falco first, that's it. It's just gonna be Falco and Isti. So who's the other character I can bring? Um, where am I? Oh, this soothing siren song can only come from... Yes, it's 5PB! Oh, Neptune, what a relief! Finally, someone I recognize. I never thought it possible, but even 5PB made it over here. So what happened? What do you mean? To think I'm in another dimension. Hmm, what should I do? Don't even trip, girl. It's not like you're alone here. Or it's something else weighing on your, he on your head. Um, actually, everyone seems to forget that. I'm really shy. Alright. I knew just about everyone from our dimension, so I was getting better there, but what do I do now? My brain erased the knowledge of you being shy around strangers. But, uh, you're super petty once you get up on stage. Yeah. Then just hang out on stages in all the cit cities over here. Make friends by being all energetic and whatnot. But I don't think they'll have stages set up for me everywhere we go. Hmm. We can handle this problem one step at a time, so for now, welcome back to the club, 5PB. Nope. I, I... How did... What? I'm so confused. How did I recruit Cave and then everybody else was still okay? Is it because I recruited Isti first? Is that... Is that how it works? You know what? In the meantime, you know, I'm just gonna go uh, forget it. Uh, I, as long as I get Falcom, just give me, just give me Falcom. I'm, I'm not gonna go through all of this. And still manage to get Falco. Oh, wait, maybe if I go down to order, maybe it'll maybe it'll trigger like that. Wait, what? Wait, I recruited I recruited is the is the cave and Falco. What? I'm so confused. Yo, I'm so confused. How? What? Uh, what? I thought I could recruit multiple. Oh, there. What? This is so weird. Wait, so I just have to go in and out to re-trigger this every time? Is that? Is this how this is turning out? Oh my goodness. Let me test. As well, I've already got Falcon, so I'm I'm not too worried about it now. And it's gonna be like no more information. Go to old footy. Oh, here, huh? Yup. Wow, I have to keep going in and out, bro. That's a hassle. Wait, what? How do I? No, wait. That's how I said leaders. I guess I'll just... Going here, huh? Boing! Go 
going here, huh? Kanga net. Yeesh, I worked so hard that I can't even get all the work of being lazy to get all the work out of my heart. All the hard work out of my body. Maybe it's just me, but the fights are not. The fights are getting tougher. My body might not hold up much longer. I know that voice. Is that you, Neptune? Why, if it isn't my beastiest buddy, Cybercon. Oops, sorry. CyberConnect2. Gotta establish the formal name first. I knew it. I'm so glad I finally ran into someone I know. Behold, CyberConnect2, aka Cybercon. Using an easy meta explanation, she helped us in the last game. So, what are you doing over in this dimension, Cybercon? This dimension? I see. The one with the landmarks here seems so unfamiliar. I had no idea this was a completely different planet, dude. So what brought you here? Hmm, no clue. I was heading out to buy my weekly magazine and got sucked into a mysterious light. Yep, that light's up to its old tricks again. Anything else you can remember? Oh, now that I think about it, I was pretty sure someone was laughing. It was like, coo 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 or some other kind of evil scheming laugh. Hmm, I wonder if it's her. Wait, <sighs> what's going on? I was heading out to buy my weekly magazine, remember? How could I do that in a different dimension? Oh man, all the manga were, were at such good parts too. Uh, well gee, um, fuck up? Yeah, I can't be held since we've been sent to a different dimension, huh? I just had to find interesting manga to read in this one. She's over it already! And by using the power of positive thinking! Nothing happens if you let yourself get depressed. It sucks I can't read my face, but if things are different here, then there's a lot more- lot, There's a lot for me to pick from. I'm way more excited than let down. That's how it is, so please show me the nearest bookstore, Neptune. Wait up! Going here, huh? Take the net, boing! I wonder if I could just go to the shop instead of going back, back and forth like this. Having since the presence of her soon-to-be wifey's red appears. Blah, this is a sharker. Well, well, isn't it my... If it isn't my... Well, well, if it isn't my wifey. What a coincidence to find you here. Could this be fate? No, not even I understand you. I mean, how are you even in this dimension, Red? Dimension? Oh, this is a different dimension. It's pretty much the same to me. How'd you get here? Did you get sucked into a big dark void like me? Huh? I jumped off a tire swing into a dirty lake. What? How did this come about? Did you try to end it all because you couldn't choose just one wifey? Not at all, Neptune. Me and my wifey's no. We're all one another's wifey. No need to choose just one. In fact, I wanted even more wifeys. So that's why I jumped to the lake. I wanted to see a whole new world. No, 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 no. None of that explains why you jumped into a lake the way you did. Why? Well, I always thought... I was always taught that dragon gods sleep in lakes and they take you to other worlds. Oh, really? Even if you were taught that, it's amazing that you can hop in without hesitation. Don't worry about it, wifey. As a result of my bravery, I made it to this place. Okay, then. I'm gonna go out and find tons of wifeys here, too. Gah! Wait up, Red! I don't even have to do that. I just gotta back out. Okay. Oh, it's Neptune. Golly, I know that voice. It must be Harada. Yes, it's me. No, I'm not Harada. I'm Tekken. Tekken, huh? You're that cool actor who, who throat chops everyone on your quest to rescue your family. No, that's not me at all. I'm going to be mad at you soon. Sorry, I had to make a bad joke. It's in my contract. It's kind of a... kind of like a rule, you know? Anyway, I haven't seen you since the last game, Tekken. No! 
What brings you to this dimension? Well, when I was training up in the mountains with my bear friend, I got hit by a light and ended up here. Hit by a light? Was it mysterious? A big mystery like the Mr. Grass from the famous anime? <laughs> Why yes, it was rather mysterious. I even heard mysterious laughter at the same time. It was something like, k k k fa ha ha Now, where have I heard that before? Okay, cool story. I've got another question for you. Ask the way. Wanna help me beat up stuff again? I'd love to. Let's go on another fun event training journey together. Oh, boy. Hmm, it might be my imagination, but my brain feels like there's something missing from this game. Whatever could it be? Oh, right! It's about the human characters! Ah, uh, man, I don't know. I might. Don't make me throw in a Tekken, bro. Really, don't make me do it, because I'm, I'm really bad at Tekken. Like, that's, that's a fighting game I'm just I'm bad at, okay? As in the ones who were in the original version of this game and became series staples are missing. For them to not be in this game, it feels wrong to even call this a proper Natunia title. In that case, I should summon up a reliable ally to aid in my heroic struggle in this wicked world. Since I'm the main character, of course I know how to summon a character or two. Ha! I summon! Marvy has arrived! Bouncing balloons are popping. Here comes the bossy ninja girl whose clothes never rip somehow. I say that, but your bust should be admired. You may even have it the edge over vert. Oh, are you Neptune by chance? Yes, indeedy. I'm Neptune, the leader of leads. Hooray, I finally found you. Uh, you got business with me or something? Yep. My ninja name is Marvelous AQL. And it's and Estuara requested my presence from the Ninja Academy I attend. It's been super dangerous lately, so she wanted me to help you girls out from the shadows. Yeah, we've had scenes of violence after violence lately, huh? So that's the situation. It's nice to meet you, Neptune. Nice to meet you too. Anyway, sorry for bringing this up all of a sudden. Can I, can I ask for a bold flavor of a favor? A favor, huh? What is it? Marvelous AQL is way too many syllables for my tongue. So, can I just call you Marvy? Wow, you give me a pet name even though we just met. I figured you might, but still. Yes, Marvy is fine. Can I call you Neffy then? That's cool with me. Neffy is already an accepted nick nickname of mine. Let's kick butt together, Marvy. Uh-huh. You sure will, Neffy. Oh. Oh, shit. The deed is done. The deed is done. Okay, alright. The deed is done. Let's move on with our lives. Alright, where was I at again? now and you. Ooh, hey there, Pachico. Haven't seen you since the last game. I'm not Pachico, I'm Broccoli. How many times do I have to say this to you, Nyu? Bah, Pachico's Pachico. Oh, never mind, you. Trying to explain anything to Neptune is a waste of time. By the way, Neptune, where am I? I don't recognize this town, you. Ahoy, for this be Planetune. Planetune? Eh, I feel like tagging you. I was going to say gamers for some game gaming goods. Oh, wait, I was going to gamers for some gaming goods, but I ended up in some weird town. Why you? So about that. Bloody blah yada yada this. Such and such, this and that new. Now I see you're being none. You're being nothing but an annoyance again, you. Oh, ain't no thing. That was an insult, you. Anyway, Pachico. No, not Pachico. Broccoli, you. Dude, seriously, it's okay. To me, Pachico is Pachico. You are terrible at listening, you. 
Oh well, it's kind of my thing to tune out other people's drums and keep marching to my own. You're the same as ever, new. Ball. Ain't no thing again. That was an insult. Again, you. I've got a request for you. Join your party, you. Whoa, as expected of Pachiko. Sharpen both tongue and wit. You telepath, kindred spirit. You're too annoying, so no new. Dun dun dun. It's okay, man. We hardly knew him. But maybe somebody redeemed him for 100 points. Was it 100? I don't even remember anymore. Yeah, 100 points. Somebody, Somebody's gonna redeem him eventually, right? Yay, I always win. Dude, am I finally- Oh my god, I finally recruited everyone. God, that was a lot, dude! I don't- I don't even know where to begin with this. Oh, damn, someone saved his life. <sighs> Yo, this is a lot of work. Uh, it's a lot of work to unban him. You know how long his name is? This. I try to play and then I'm told to go work. This is like deja vu. Last time it was Issy up to my grill, but now it's Noir. How long are you going to keep mumbling to yourself? Look, we're here. Huh? That was fast. No, wait. It's the way you accept those quest things, isn't it? Wow, Neppy, you know about that? Naturally, before I came here, I was doing a whole bunch. I'm the CPU of Planetune, after all. Oh, you're such a dependable girl. You're sticking to that story. It's getting painful to hear, so stop while you're ahead. No, you stop. It's not all in my head. I'm playing it to the CPU. You said you have to make Neppy sound like a liar. <sighs> okay, listen. You're playing it to the CPU, right? Uh-huh. That's me. Which means she can't be. You founded this nation, so you're naturally its sole CPU, Plutia. I am... Um, don't really get that whole explanation, but I'm totally telling the truth. I didn't go I didn't want to go this far because it makes me out to be a nasty person, but prove it. If you're going to insist that you're telling the truth, then transform. Transform, huh? Yo, I can't be stopping to like unban him every minute. You know, the next time we ban him, I'm leaving him banned for 24 hours. Yeah, activate HDD. If you're a CPU, it shouldn't be a problem, right? Oh, that thing. Yeah, you'd believe me for sure if I do that. Oh, Noir, you should have chirped that song sooner. It completely slipped my mind. Stop delaying and do it. Oh, okay, okay. Don't rush me. Watch closely. Yeah! Huh? What? 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 You don't want to transform? Just as I, ex just as I expected. No, no, no way. This isn't what's supposed to happen. Well, I'm kind of clutchy, so my cool transformation pose must have been wrong. One more time. Ha! Yeah! Equip! Shine! Fusion! Well, what the heck? Yeah, all right, we get it. Just admit you lied and apologize. No need to keep being stubborn. I'm not lying! Why are you so mean? Why don't you transform then? I can't. I'm not a CPU. See? See, you can't either! So then, don't act all snooty patootie! 
I never once said I'm a CPU. Okay, then how about you, Bluey? Can you do the thing with the changing? Shut up, you idiot! Oh, sure. I can transform. Really? You haven't shown me yet. Ooh, don't be getting meanie. Fine, I'll transform now. Crap, no, no, let, let's not do that, okay? Oh, why not? Yeah, why are you stopping her? Getting all panicky like that sets off my suspicious alarms. Don't say such reckless things. Um, uh, why are you so frantic? Never talk foodie at activating HDD. Do you understand? Okay, my bad, I think. Um, I don't really get it, but now I don't have to transform? Nope, no need to do that. We better start working. Alright, Exhausted Jelly, Sergeant Froggy, Froggy. Hey, Neppy. Huh? What's up, Flutie? There's a hole in your clothes, and they're all dirty, too. A hole, you say? Well, holy moly, you're right. I fell from really high, so one or two holes should be expected. I'm not gonna let it bother me. But it really bothers me. I'll patch it up for you, so go ahead and take your clothes off. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I'm joking. Huh? You can repair cloth, booty? Could it be your secret skill? Uh-huh. I really love sewing. It's so much fun to stab things with a needle. I see. You're some kind of gal, Flutie. Hmm. I want you to fix this, but I don't have anything else to wear. I can't stand around nude, you know. Hmm. I guess not. Okay, so what kind of clothes do you usually wear, Neppy? Usually. Uh, it's pretty tough to describe with normal words, but I like this, this, and these or those. Oh, I see. Uh-huh. I know. Wait just a minute. Ta-da! It's all done! Wow! They're just like my normal clothes! Sized perfectly! Booty, this is... this is the work of an artisan. <laughs> More praise, please! I never would have expected the carefree, carefree and slow-talking Pluty to have such a unique ability. Does that mean you also need to up all the plushies I see lying around this den, my good pal? Yep! I make one of every friend I have. I see. So you're gonna make one of me too? Of course I am. <laughs> I can't wait to stab my needles into a neppy plushie. Hmm, what's this strange feeling? I'm happy to hear that, but for some reason my tingling spine isn't. Oh boy. Yo, that's a new scenery. Hey! Hey, hey, Pluty, you gotta limit how far into space your mind goes. Huh? What's wrong? You're slippers, girl. You should wear those things out, out of the house. Why not? They'll get all dirty and grimy. You gotta put up some... You gotta put on some pumped up kicks when you head outside. But you wear sneakers so your feet don't get dirty, right? That's what slippers do, too. Huh? Well, I mean, that's true, but you wear those inside the Basilicom as well, don't you? In that case, you'll get the floor all muddy and whatnot. But, um, you're supposed to wear slippers inside the house, right? Well, yeah. If you look at two concepts independently, sure. But you're not linking the two. It's useless, you know. She'll never change her sloppy ways. I'm not sloppy. I'm very efficient. Even though I just met you, I know that's a pangs igniting lie. A pants igniting lie. <laughs> I'm busted. She also wears the normal clothes as pajamas, never combs her hairs, and she naps whenever possible. The legend of Sloppy Plutie is unfolding, one item after another. Mm, but, but... I take a bath every day. True, 
If you left alone, you'd soak in a tub for hours until you turn into a Plutia prune. Yeah, because naps and baths are the ultimate relaxation combo. If you're not careful, that could be dangerous. I wonder if she can cut it at the CPU. Maybe I'll act cold and push her away from me for once. Oh, no. Don't abandon me. I see. So this dimension's more has a tough time taking care of others, too. Could it be? No. There's no way I've caused my Noir any trouble back home. Back home? No. I guess there was no back home scene. I like Flutia so far. I don't like this gigantic roster at the moment. Holy shit. Best upskirts? Uh, uh, marvelous, I guess. Falcon. It's your fault for being caught off guard. Got you. Can't. This, this, it's too much. It's too many characters, man. Hmm. Huh. 
I wonder if I gained anything doing that. You know, I like this Falcon more than the other Falcon. I'm so sure of it. I like this Falcon more. Hmm. Dungeon feels like a huge extension of what I've been through before. Okay, all right. So, what are my quests? What am I? What? What? what, what? Sar Sergeant Froggies. Uh, you. expecting that to actually have something. Oh boy, now, now Nep Nep has a lethal looking weapon. Okay, cool. I appreciate the fact that you get rewarded for just running around as other characters. Big 
jump, big jump, big jump, big jump, big jump. Big jump! Yay! Yay! Listen to all the big jump, big jump, big jump, big jump. Oh my goodness. Okay. All right. A hard day's work is at an end. Good job out there, you two. Hooray for working hard. Oh, the back of my mind is saying that this isn't really, isn't really CPU worthy work. Doing odd jobs, increasing shares. True, most ordinary citizens take on quests to make a bit of money. I don't know how to do any kind of work except for this, so... That's okay, you're still new to this whole CPU thing. <laughs> you're so nice to me. But you need to get more competent, otherwise people are going to start doubting your ability. Let me take it back, you're being strict again. Excuse me, ladies. What? Is the CPU something you become? You're not just born one? What? Of course you're not. I was supposed to become a CPU myself, but you'll see. Someday I'll become the, the CPU of my own nation, and this one won't even hold a candle to it. Hooray! Go for it, Noir. You should at least say you won't lose to me, your greatest rival, if there's no competition. Which reminds me, we haven't seen her today. She had to go do some shopping. Whoa, hey, too much subject jumping. So, like, you turn into a CPU? Isn't it bad if anybody can become one? It's not, e it's not easy, so it's not a problem. Seriously, what's wrong with you? This is basic common knowledge. It's not my common knowledge. Me, Nev Jr., and everyone else were born CPUs. You were born that way? Wow, that's so neat. I told you to stop believing everything this girl says. Man, this is so crazy. It's like I've literally, literally fallen down into a different world. I'm curious though, how do you become a CPU? Does something good come from it? I can't believe you're this ignorant. I kind of pity you. Whatever, it's annoying, so I'll explain it to you. Yay, I'm not, I'm not pumped about how you phrased it, but do go on. First, you need a CPU memory, which is found inside of a memory core. Oh, like a class change item. Kind of boring names though. Are they rare drops? Beyond rare, legendary. Only a few memory cores exist, and they only produce CPU memories once every couple of centuries. Centuries? Pretty balls for a respawn time. Only MMO shut ins who can for weeks can get it. The interval is still randomized, so it's not that you can set a clock for the next one's arrival. If you if you really want one, I guess you could camp for it, like you said, but competition's kind of light. And there's a memory core near this place. I see. So you were hanging out by the CPU memory, Bluey? Man, I bet there was some swashbuckling fantasy melee to claim it. Nobody battles over it. I just said there aren't a lot of people looking for one. I stumbled upon mine when I went on a lovely picnic. Oh, it was that easy? I don't get it yet. Keep on with the explainings. Well, the weather was really nice that day, and I decided to open up my basket by the river. Oh, stop right there. Don't remind me of that day. The sheer terror I felt the first time Bluey activated HDD. Terror, you say? Ugh, forget it. Let's get back on topic. You need that item to turn into a CPU, and that doesn't mean anyone with it can become a CPU. Only people born with certain qualities are eligible. So if anyone lacking those tries, yeah, yeah, if they try, I mean it's an old fairy tale, but I was told they would turn into a hideous monster. Sounds terrifying. But yes, it's rare to get the item, and even if someone does, they might be monster fight instead. That's a pretty big risk. You have some pretty, you have some brave guts to want to be a CPU Pluty. Oh, I didn't really want to though. I picked it up and thought it was my rice ball, so I ate it. I said not to remind me. It is risky, but I think there's some merit to becoming a CPU. First off, you can go and found your own nation. Huh? So the CPUs make the nation? 
Not the other way around? Oh, I know what you mean. Did the chicken or the egg hatch first, right? Yeah, kinda sorta. But anyway, whichever is first, it all ends up the same, huh? Not to interrupt your philosophical musings, but I'm going to keep talking. Second, you gain divine powers, and with those powers, you protect and guide humanity. If you do a good job, people will have more faith in you, and that increases your powers further. See, that jives about with what I know about CPUs. For the longest time, there was only one CPU in existence and ruled the only nation around. It's still fine for those who believe in her, but many disagree with and have no faith in this CPU. Life outside of her nation borders can be pretty hard to endure. That's why I want to become a CPU and give those people a new nation for them to believe in. That's exactly the type of motivation class president Noir would have. You're so cool, Noir. But then Plutia beat me to it, and she wasn't even trying to be a CPU. Mm. I have already apologized for that about one gajillion times. Hmm, I see, I see. I think I get, the, I think I get most of it, most, most of at least half of it. Thanks. But if that's how it is here, I guess I don't need to be a CPU. Kind of frustrating that I can't change forms, but it isn't really that big of a deal. Besides, if I became a CPU, it means I'd have to have to do more work. I'm tired of all the forced labor. I'm gonna turn and become a CPU. It'd kill me if I turned into an old hag while Plutia stays young. Oh, you'll be okay. You'd be a cute old lady, Noir. Noir, spinster edition. <laughs> I'd pay to see that. But seriously, I doubt you'd be. I doubt you'd be cute. You're always. You'd probably wear floral mum. Moo-moos and lecture kids these days. Hmm? Hey, stop the presses! What? Don't shout. Noir, you're getting older? I mean, why? What do you mean, why? That's not the concept of time works. What do you think I am? N no, but I mean, Plutie will always look like that. I'm a CPU now, so I'm always going to look like this. Uh oh, hold up. So unless I become a CPU here, I'm gonna get old and stuff too, right? Yes, that is still how the concept of time works. <laughs> Goodness, Noir's face. Nappy, were you born far away for books and language? Nope, this won't do at all. I like being young and adorable. But letting myself become all sexy and busty wouldn't be too bad. Still, I get all that sexiness when I transform. And we only really need one old hag in the party. I have no idea what you're talking about. How am I supposed to respond to your insane ramblings? That settles it. I'm gonna become a CPU. Again. For the approximate 240 million member of the Nep Nep. For the approximate 240 million members of the Nep Nep fan club, I vow to keep my current figure. Oh, fun. You're going to become a CPU too? Throw it that easy. I'd already be one, you know. You have no idea how hard I've been trying. So basically, we find that memory thing. I call dibs, and then you can get one more. So basically, we find that memory thing. I call dibs, and then you can get one more. Excuse me? Where do you get off deciding that? Dude, come on. Main characters always get priority. I mean, even if you become a CPU, you won't be all that popular. Thus, NetNet gets dibs. Whatever, I know I'd be way more popular than you. I'm not giving my item to you. <laughs> I hope all three of us get to become CPUs. I really feel like I haven't done much. together. Big jump! Oh, Why? I totally got the initiative on that. Uh -oh. My turn. Got you. 
Lucky. dropping this is gonna be a hassle Getting sleepy. If, as ever I see. Colder than the cold is cold. Anyway, check out this quest. It's close to Louis' border. Uh-huh. And? Louis, I told you. Louis, that means blonde. Blonde? Blonde. Well, I guess I recall Louis' CPU going by that name. I knew it. Blonde is Louis' CPU. Yes, sir. You look so happy, Nappy. Well, yeah, we know each other. But then again, she might have been replaced by a clone, too. Wow, so you're also friends with Louis CPQ. Cool. Enough with the clone nonsense. And Plutia, I know I told you to stop being so gullible. Hmm. Okay, I'll go and say hi. No, it's been a huge downer, so maybe Blonde would be better. Excuse me? Go and say hi? Stop right there, Missy. Whatever, Mom. You can't tell me what to do. Like, hell, I'm your mother. Stop... And stop me for your own good. If someone like you walks into Louis' territory, who knows what awful things will happen to you. Awful things? You don't mean cords and tentacles again, do you? Those things are the worst. Cords and tentacles? Don't you dare explain those to her. And Plutia, don't sound so interested. Wait, again? Are you serious? Dang, you responded to a lot of key points in one line. Not too shabby, Noir. Noir. I really don't enjoy, enjoy your praise. I really have to keep interjecting because you two are saying the dumbest things. Dumb things aside, why do you think bad stuff will go down if you went to Louie? Um, well, Louie's very mysterious and isolated. I'm told to stay away, so... I 
It's an isolationist nation. Maybe it became so strict because it was the only nation for a long time. It's a difficult it's difficult enough just to leave that place. I can't imagine the red tape required to get in. But I've never heard of any crimes or scandals happening within. Once you get in, maybe it's peaceful. Uh-huh. So basically, the Louis I know in this place are different. Maybe Blonde is extra evil, too. Like, more violent. She flips out and kills people all the time. And firstly, it gets a policy where you don't care about others so long as your own nation is safe. Yes, I must make my own nation as soon as I possibly can. Do your best, Noir. You should try harder, too. We actually have a nation to run. Oopsies. She's scolding me. Anyway, that's how it is up there, so we shouldn't get too close. Plus, there are some other unsavory rumors about Louis. Unsavory? <laughs> it sounds pretty juicy. Feed me some of those rumors. It's nothing like that. Besides, they're just rumors, so who knows how much is true. In a nutshell, rumors say that Louis and the Seven Sages are colluding behind the scenes. Oh, those chocolate things. I think you mentioned them before. Thank you all so much for coming here today. So, um, well... Hey! We can't hear you at all! Can't you speak a bit louder? <gasps> I'm so, so, so sorry! <sighs> so, uh, I'd like to sh start the Shevin Changes meeting? Don't talk like a fool. She's fumbling all her words. If she thinks that kind of speech is cute at her age, yikes! A at my age? Oh dear. I know I'm not exactly the youngest thing around, but... Okay, enough cutie pies. It's cruel to tease her about it too much. Can't we hurry this meeting up? I'm a very busy man with a very busy schedule to keep. Who even called this meeting? I came a long way, so if it's about something trivial, someone's dead. Um, the one who called today's meeting was m me. Get out of town! You? <laughs> I'm sorry about that. It was impudent of me to call you all here. Enough. This meeting will drag on if you get spooked by every little comment. Still, having little Ray give us a call is rare. Something big must have happened. Yes, something has. I can't confirm the info, and I haven't gathered any evidence, but I feel it's highly credible, so... Enough procedural nonsense. Out with it! Uh, okay. Actually, a, a new CPU has appeared in Planetune. What? Are you certain of this? R rather, ha had appeared. Or may have appeared, it seems. Or so it feels. Speak with certainty! Speak with... Unbridled passion! Appeared! A new CPU appeared in Planetune! We can't be asked to believe it just yet. But if true, this is quite a conundrum. Planetune, huh? What do you make of this? Two CPUs in a nation that would topple from a single sneeze? How can I believe this? Say what you like, but it's completely true. Maybe. So, who's your informant? How'd you get this info? Ch uh, that's... well... Nothing like that has gotten stuck in my web of information. I hate to say it, but I highly doubt that little Ray here could get information before me. Well, um, that is to say, due to some profound circumstances... I will only warn you once. If you attempt to deceive me, you had better be prepared to die. There's... there's no way I'd ever try to deceive you! That... that would be outrageous! Still, it needs to be verified. It's quite a shocker, if true. A shock it got by me, that is. Hmm. Uh, oh, um... I'm sorry. How would you confirm this crap? I'd rather pick belly length than follow up on this sketchy story. For these kinds of blue-collar situations, I think we all know who would be appropriate. Hmm? Oh, did that noisy little brat decide not to join us today? It's a welcome change of pace. 
Her shrieking blows my eardrums. A actually, I let her know about it before this meeting. Then she ran off without hearing the rest of my report, even though I tried to stop her. Ha! Impatient little twerp! Either way, it simplifies matters. We'll just wait for her to get back and then discuss further. So, we wait for now, huh? I hope it isn't a waste of time. And here I wanted to hurry back to the office and work late again. Oh, hey! I'm starved! When do the caterers get here? Yeah, it's only polite for the one who calls the meeting to provide the others with food! Wow! Uh huh? But whenever any of you called one, there wasn't even a pitcher of water! You wanna say that again? Care to voice that complaint a bit louder? Not at all. I'll prepare something right away. I feel bad for her. She had that crazy ass face. Oh, I but see. now she's These getting pushed over. Are the villains this time around? Were you really listening? Are you sure you understand? Why so skeptical? I definitely said, "Oh, I see." Okay. Then paraphrase what I just went over with you. Ooh, I'll take this as a challenge. I'll gladly face you, player two. So, the seven whatevers don't like CPUs ruling the nations and whine a lot and say bad stuff, right? So far, so good. Therefore, I conclude that those folks are the bad guys. Ta-da! Flawless victory! You cut out the whole second half. It's not that simple. I knew you stopped paying attention. Ah, uh, okay. You got me. Huh? Neppy gave the wrong answer? Do you mean to say that you stopped listening to me too? Um, that one girl who picks on me is the Seven Sages, right? I don't like her. And you clearly only get about half of the situation, too. Fine. I'll explain again. Oh, my goodness. I might even talk longer this time. So make a sandwich and listen. Oh, really? Can we, like, mash through the boring stuff with the X button? I'm tempted. I'm Don't tell me, Neptune. Good at mashing. I prefer the skip function. So let's press the square button. <laughs> Don't tempt me. I'll do it, Plutia. <laughs> okay. Good. The Seven Sages is a shadowy organization that gets its name from having seven head members. Their platform advocates proper laws, and they want to found a nation free from CPU governance. Of course, because they believe that, they're against the very existence of CPUs. Ever since Plutia created Planet Tune, she's been harassed by them several times. Their operations are said to have started 10 years ago. Any more info is vague and pretty sparse. As for the seven heads of the group, only one is known to the public. It's even rumored they have a hand in criminal activities behind the scenes, but there's no proof. And that thing I said about them having some connection to Louis? That's one of those rumors. But apparently, a good number of people agree with their ideals. So we can't say with 100% certainty that they're evil. So, that was a pretty amazing summary. Did you get all that? Uh... Hmm... Oh! There's a picture of you two next to the definition of wasted effort. I'm so tired now. Ah, Flutie, did you hear that? Noir just gave up on us. Aww. Don't give up on us. You two are so noisy. Just look up the stupid Nepedia entry later. Noir, you're such an ice queen. And your explanations are so roundabout and hard to understand. That's a fact. <laughs> it's easier on our noggins to call them the bad guys. The, uh, um, oh, the seven stages. The seven stages are bad. <laughs> seven sages? Oh, jeez. How can you forget that name so fast? Gothunk! I found you! Whoa. 
who's this broad? Flutie, we have a visitor. Speak of the tiny devil. It's the meanie! Uh-huh. So you're the one. Hm. I see. Hmm. Well, what's with this kid? I feel like you're unzipping my vest with your eyeballs. Ew. <laughs> Wait, she's here for Neptune? Oh, in that case, sorry, but I don't feel like dealing with her. Oh, me neither. Sorry, Neppy. What? You two are gonna leave my party? Come on, don't do that. I guess you appear to be a teen, but your body is so underdeveloped. Hmm. All right, you're a little girl. Inconceivable. A girl smaller than me just called me a little girl. And to think they would allow such a young and naive little girl to work as a CPU. It's unjust! It's brutish! It violates international law! I'll never forgive Planetune! Yikes! Now she's going on a tirade. What's the deal? Why do I gotta sit and nod while a little girl I don't know makes fun of me? <laughs> Did you just call me a little girl? How am I little, huh? Only little girls call others names. If that's your killer comeback, you're definitely a little girl. I mean, you said it to me first. You said it again! Oh, that's twice! I'll never forgive you for this slight! Huh? Oh. You want to challenge me to a duel? I won't lose in a cat fight. Ow! You hit me! I got hit by a stupid little girl! Wow. <laughs> You're no match for me. You need about a hundred years of training before you can insult me, little girl. Ah, you did it again! <laughs> Ooh, Nappy is so strong. More like her opponent is embarrassingly weak. I see. Instead of arguing, she just smacked her in the mouth. No way I could have done that. I... I can't believe it! It's illegal to hurt little girls! You'll pay dearly for this! You just admitted to being a little girl. <laughs> I guess I win. Oh my <laughs> goodness. No, 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 that, that was just... <laughs> I knew you were just a little baby girly girl. <laughs> Neppy, that might have been a bit too much gloating. She's immature, even compared to this kid. Why are you two yelling at me? You abandoned me, so I had to fight back. I had no choice. Now, now, don't cry. That's a good little girl. Jeez, looks like Neptune had her claws out. Oh, there's a blood smear. Poor little thing. Huh? I'm being shunned, aren't I? Wow. D -d Don't touch me! I won't accept charity from my sworn enemies. Ouchies! Don't get an attitude. We're just trying to help. Shut your stupid mouth! I see Planetune has finally shown its true colors. You make children work, and you react violently when criticized. What a bad influence for kids. You started it. I'm not a child. You always come here, make a big fuss, and then toss around false accusations. Shut up! I'm on a mission to protect every single child in the whole wide world. That means I am in the right. Therefore, all who oppose me are big pedophiles and gross weirdos! Wow! What? Um, worst logic ever. More importantly, that woman's information was correct. I can't believe we're evenly matched! She made you cry. How was that anywhere close to even? It was a flawless victory for Nappy. Shut up, I said! Ahem! Well, I completed my investigation. You're the new CPU here, right? Ooh, has my awesome reputation reached even this little girl I've never seen before? I'm flattered, but if I get too famous, my private life will... Too much charisma is a curse. <laughs> She's not a CPU. What? Uh, noir, 
Don't shoot me down so fast. She totally thought I was a CPU. But she's right. You can't even transform. What? Oh, not you too, Plutie. You shouldn't crush a poor little girl's dreams like that. You're not a CPU? Then how did I lose? Because you're weak. Maybe because you're weak. Less bark and bite than a doggoo. Oh. Damn. Y y y you! What is your name? You didn't catch it? Neptune. Neptune. I won't forget that name! Oh, hang on, kid. I think it's rude to adults when you demand a name without giving your own. Hmm, fine. I'll tell you just this once. I am the Seven Sieges Idol and Public Relations Manager. You may call me Abnus. What an introduction. Okay. Introductory graphic text? What the heck, developers? I didn't get one when I appeared. I can't wait to talk about this in excruciating detail at the next Seven Sages meeting. If we seriously tried, we could bury this nation under regulatory red tape before you could blink. Be prepared. And there she goes. It's so not fair that she got a cool logo. She's just some weak kid. If someone like her is one of the leaders of the Seven Sages, maybe they're all pushovers. Well, if you assume they're all like that girl, sure. But we don't know anything about the others. It's so good you're here, Nappy. Every other time she comes, that girl teases me. Over and over. Idiots can't handle difficult conversations, thus the violence. Every tool has its use. <laughs> you flatter me. Wait, that was a compliment, right? Sure, why not? She might come back to complain about what happened, so you can handle her then, Neptune. Please protect us, Nappy. Uh, um, okay. It's nice to be relied on, but I feel like I'm being taken advantage of. Hmm. Yo, that was some really long exposition. My goodness. <gasps> Man, this this dimension is so lonely though. Alright, well that's it for me. I'm calling it a night. Oh all the expositions getting to me. Uh, uh, uh. Alright, well I guess I'll get some actual proper sleep. I'm I'm definitely not gonna finish Neptunia 3 before Final Fantasy 7 comes out. So I guess I'll just go at some kind of pace. Probably about four about a four hour stream per per stream. That's probably that's probably how I'm gonna plan this stream out. I say that now, but then I'm gonna, at some point, I'm gonna get way into the story and it's gonna be like a 20 hour stream. And we're, we're gonna just, we're all gonna be sitting here just thinking, what the fudge is going on? What the goodness happened? What happened to four hours? How did it turn to 20? Ugh. Oh. But yeah. Alright then, guys. I'll see you later. Thanks for dropping by. I guess I'm, yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm probably gonna just work out for a little bit, then pass out. I don't know. Wait, did I save? Let me save. Let me save again just to be sure I save. That's always important. Alright then, guys. See you later.